G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more RVs at war. With me running towards our base from where I got catapulted and somehow survived, and Shadow happily back at base, um, using the facilities apparently. How do you know? I've got your stream up. Hmm, well I guess <laughs> it's better than a camera in that area. Yeah, that would be creepy, so yes. Exactly agreed. why I was concerned! <laughs> <laughs> Agreed why that would be bad. <laughs> yes. How far am I from home now? Oh, wait. I almost ran past home. I was uh, uh, not looking where I was going. I know you get lost on occasion, but that's extreme. Even what? for you. <laughs> I don't have an argument that holds any sort of uh, truth there. So, last time... Shadow and I were getting catapulted by my catapult. Uh, this time, Shadow and I are going to get catapulted by my catapult, except I'm going to completely rebuild it from scratch in large grid. Right. Uh, with a completely different mechanism. One that is much, much simpler. And hopefully much more tolerant of being on a server. Because the more complex you make these things, the more likely they are to fail. Uh, when it comes to running these on a server. And I have even, while trying to go to sleep last night, thought through some of the maths involved in doing this correctly. And I think, assuming my numbers are vaguely correct, considering I did this entirely in my head and without any sort of calculator, I think I need to make a large grid catapult and because of how fast it hopefully will be moving, the arm needs to be 34 blocks long to get to somewhere around 250 meters per second at the head end of it. So I do have to say, I'm a factory player. I regularly use numbers for things. But you using numbers, that scares me. A lot. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if it was actually feasible and I was like, 34. I think that's kind of feasible. Yeah, 34 blocks of large grid. Thirty-four blocks of large grid. Oh. So that's pretty big. But it's not it's not um impossibly big. I'm just gonna get rid of my mess here because well it wasn't doing we thought it might not have been doing nice things to your latency and lag experience. Yeah. Like to the point where it feels like I sometimes jump to one FPS. <laughs> but yeah. That's some bad latency. So we'll, we'll get rid of this thing. My my new design has substantially fewer subgrids. I approve. And my new design, part of the reason that I didn't immediately go for it, even though I probably should have, uh, is that when I built my first catapult that really worked, we didn't have hinges. They didn't exist. So upping the amount of torque that you have from something that's rotational was actually kind of... It was okay for adding a second rotor to it, but at, trying to add a third or a fourth or a fifth got a little bit complex. Like, more so than using the pistons. So, and at the time, I don't think I actually knew that you could add extra torque by adding extra rotors. Uh, so, yeah. With hinges, a lot easier. Oh, man. Mm. I hate grinding down small grid armor when there's this much of it. <laughs> also, how long is 34 large grid blocks? <laughs> how long is this arm going to be? Uh, let's check it out. 34 large grid and it's like 68 meters? Oh. No, it'd be a lot more than that because it's 68 plus half of 34, which takes it up to about 75. No. My brain hurts. No, 85. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 
Also, I have been thinking a little. So, if we do end up making an enemy of that base, do we want the survival kits or... What? Oh, there's a hole here. A oh, hole you, I cannot yeah, see. You That's might what need happened. To yeah. But do we want the survival kits on the rover? Which is yes. very prone to being shot. Yes. Or do we want to make a roof over the rover or temporarily move the survival kits into the base where it can be more protected? Uh, I would vote for roof over rover rather than moving survival kit from the one thing that can leave this place. Yeah, okay. I mean, there are other things oh, that yeah, can I leave this place, it. but they tend to do so under atmospheric thrust and then they're not coming back. <laughs> Is my miner a joke for... Like... All right, your miner too. I forgot about your miner being hydrogen. How dare you. Poor miner. All right, I'm just going to clean up a bit of this mess before I get going. I'm, I, I definitely had to get rid of the catapult mechanism because that was potentially causing shadow problems. Uh, but these wheels can probably stay until I decide that I really need to get rid of them. 34 times 2.5 equals 85. So you're, That sounds about right. So your catapult arm will be roughly the length of a World War One destroyer. Surely there's a more random thing we can use as a measurement of length that's about the same. How many food long sandwiches are those? Just trying to think of what's roughly 85 meters long. Like, could we measure it in blue whales? Is it like two and a half blue whales or something? Hmm. I mean, the obvious measurements would be how many washing machines. Too obvious. I vote hair dryers. But which brand? Exactly. Ah, I see what you're doing. 68 washing machines? <laughs> <laughs> Almost two Olympic sized swimming pools. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's a useful measurement for you. Almost something of something. Inventory full. Oh, the pain. Why can what? I see that so clearly? What? The almost. Oh. <laughs> oh, your voxel's not loading in. That's so annoying. No, I just need to drill a little. There we go. Good, good. Uh. Uh, no energy. Yeah, see, it loads that chunk, but it may not load all of the stuff. It's my experience of using the drill to technique. Is this how it feels to be a mole? <laughs> Probably. Almost 448 TI-84 CE calculators long. 8.5 London buses. That's a good one. <laughs> Ooh. And the funny thing about a London bus, guess how long a modern London bus is? It's 1.2 London buses. What? Or yep. sir, thanks so much for five gift subs. Modern London buses are longer than a London bus. Also, uh, Crochet Tree, if I say that correctly, thank you for continuing your gift sub. Oh yeah, I was meaning to do that while I was grinding stuff down. <laughs> um, thanks Helen Scott, thank you for two months. Uh, thanks Dwayne, thank you so much for 42 months. <laughs> Wrong timing, Kamak. <laughs> you should have been doing your... Can we have that as a sound effect, please? <laughs> I forgot to add it. I know I need to. No, I, I mean you. Oh, me doing it, because it was so much faster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, I am Ginge. Thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, Talison, for two years. 
<laughs> and 3,725 Dutch pastries. Oh, there you go. Wait, <laughs> what's a Dutch pastry? I don't know. There's many. <laughs> it's like... What is the Is first? it like the Danish pastry? Which I don't think is um, a Denmark original. Almond paste filled pastry. Hmm. Or it's on Almond boost. paste filled. I don't know how I feel about that. It's pretty good, although I think that pastry is mostly eaten during Christmas times. Okay. Or Easter. Time for a new large rover. One designed for a catapult. It is menacing just seeing those giant hydrogen thrusters up here. <laughs> Thank you also for the five gift subs. Yeah. Big giant balls of potential fire. Yeah. Yeah. Menacing. Thank you, Cal. Thanks yeah, so um, much for 22 months. Yeah, Shadow. Sorry. I, I know, Kanita, I know, but I'm just trying to get the foxholes to load in because the moment I walk here, I'm gonna fall in a hole because I cannot see where the blocks are. <laughs> oh, I see what Kanita just wrote. On today's Alviat War, Splitsy will be building a giant rover capable of handling an 85 meter long catapult armor. Shadow will be doing. Shadow will be competing with me over who gets the longest launch on the 85 meter long catapult arm. Oh, ship! I think I'm fine. <laughs> but I think I'm also looking at Gateway to Hell or something. Yeah, the that clouds is... do look that way. It looks like a giant maw. And Josh, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, Titan, I... One moment. Um, Please go. tell me that's fun music on your end only. Yes. Okay, yes. Good. I am not that <laughs> cruel. Good, good. Maybe build a trailer section like the old school ladder fire trucks. Uh, Can I get it a bit quieter? No, nah, I, I want this to be a singular platform. Eh. Okay. Because it'll, That's as close as I can get I want it. it to be as big a, as big and as wide a platform as possible, so that it's nice and stable when the <laughs> catapult launches. Yeah, there we go. The Danish. I, I remembered it being from another country. I couldn't remember specifically which one, but I should have guessed. Um, it was from Vienna. Uh, I just need to make sure it won't automatically loop. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> mm. Are Stroop Waffles uh, Dutch? How dare you even question that? Yes, yes they well, are! Well, if the Danish isn't Danish... I feel it's reasonable to ask if Stroop Waffles are Dutch. Yes, yes they are. Very much so. <laughs> I can't remember if I've actually it's... had Stroop Waffles, but they... All things I've heard about them sound like they're amazing. They are. They really are. <laughs> Should I go with 5x5 five five large grid wheels because oh. this thing won't be super heavy? Titan, give... thank you for the 100 bits. And Flair, thank you for the resub. Oh, resub for the tier 1 mm. sub. Sorry. I went autopilot mode. Also, because we hear a bit of fun music we never hear. And it caught me off guard. I, think I might use 5x5 five five wheels. I never use them because they're not as good. But for this purpose, they should be fine. So I, I know I myself expect, too well. I didn't expect the Dutch to be so upset with me asking a question like that. I was just making sure. Yeah, we are very proud of our Stroop Waffles. Which also... Dwarf, if you're here... Those Belgian Waffles, I hope you place them where they belong. 
which were actually just Dutch true waffles, but with the Belgian tag. Which, yes, I am a little bit salty about. I am proud of the true waffles coming from the Netherlands. Wait. They're, the two things are similar? No, it's literally a true waffle, but called Belgian waffle. Oh. Like that. From what I've heard from Dwarf, there is no difference between a true waffle and a Belgian waffle. Ah. There we go. Huh. So is this a second large grid miner or the large grid catapult? This is the large grid catapult. This is 100% a large grid catapult. Uh, I'm going to go with, I think, eight 5x5 five five wheels for it. It should be long enough, hopefully, to uh, tolerate the swinging of the catapult arm. I mean, obviously, it will definitely tolerate it if I, um, if I let it lock to the ground, or if I lock it to the ground. Eh, yeah, let's go a bit further, why not? What's the harm? Just might stop me from placing the wheels properly. Fine. And the fox also still not loading in proper. Uh... Um... Does anyone have experience on a Jeez. dedicated server of any other things we can try to help Shadow get her voxels back? I'll try one more reload. Because yeah, my only experience was with the Draconis servers and I sometimes had to connect a few times to get them to load. Um, but not, I don't remember it being as bad as you're experiencing right now. Yeah, I haven't had it this bad either. It's just weird. Yeah. Because the, the issue is that the server... It's kind of like the server's not sending... Or the player's not receiving the voxel edit information. So it's... Space Engineer saw, stores them in VX2 files. And it's like the player's not getting those sent. It's really quite odd. The only thing that worked for me was respawning at a different location and then again where you wanted. Uh, uh, Shadow, uh, alternate thing that would do a similar thing to that would be if you used Spectator Teleport. Because it's basically unloading oh, yeah. the current voxels and then loading new voxels back in. I could do that. I could give that a go if, that, if this reconnect doesn't work. I'm looking forward to welding this thing up. Um, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. We do have a welding ship. I know. And I'll probably use it. As long as you're okay with me crashing it. That is the one thing I am not okay with. So does that mean you're going to weld it up for me? No. Oh. Does that mean I have to build my own welding ship? With blackjack? You're going to make some spicy welders? Well, if you're not going to let me use your welding ship... Hmm. 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 Alright, fine. I'll make my own welding ship. I mean, you're free to use mine, just don't crash it. Yeah, but I can't promise that. Well, okay, fine. If you crash it, at least repair it. Uh, do you have a blueprint? Yes. I oh, think. Let me just make sure I have an up-to-date one. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to make a... I'm going to throw together... I'm going to see how long it takes me to throw together a really quick basic one. Uh, are you sure? Yep. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Are you making a welding ship? Bah, 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 bah. 
I've made welding chips. Hmm. I made the one that TFE's been occasionally using <laughs> in the thirty five acquisitions. The one who got two welders blown up and then not replaced for a very long time. Yeah, because I was only replacing it whenever I needed to build any armor on the Skywarp. Because welding ships are great for building lots of heavy armor. They are genuinely useful for that. True. It's a repetitive task that something like that is well suited. No warning or anything, just walking past. I know, right? How rude. You ran straight into me. Oh, your fault for being there. <laughs> Waiting for the split to spend six hours making a welding ring on the end of the granite. Nope. This will be speedy, speedy, speedy. And ugly, 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 but... Uh, the main thing that will take me time is setting up the ridiculousness that is making sure that it has a decent number of components on board. That is the easiest part of making a welder. Says you. Yeah, exactly, Capac. I agree. <laughs> well, just let me know when you need something set up and then I'll just oh, do that okay. for you if you'd like. So what are you going to be doing while I distract myself from the things I said I was going to be doing? Well, probably doing a spectator thing. I should not sit in a base as I do that. <laughs> no, no, you actually need to teleport <laughs> yourself. Mm -hmm. Your player character, I think, needs to move. Yes. Also, don't drop myself underground. Also, don't drop myself too high above the ground. Also, make yourself invulnerable. No. Also too late. Wait. <gasps> no, the base is still <gasps> here. Oh, did just move in the teleport the uh, spectator cam fix it? That as well? Nice. Yay! I can see stuff that's well here. Instead of stuff <laughs> that's not here. Instead of not stuff that is here. What's that? Oh. Okay, that's it. That's it. What? What's that? Is That's what it... I'm turning off the rotor. What? No! No! You mean human monster? Have you looked at me, Splits? Do I look who you... Ah, do I look human to you? <laughs> do I look high human? Uh, I mean, I now that no you human. say it... <laughs> you human monster. How dare you? Uh, yeah, you small grade right, I am. Oh. Okay, Traction. so I should go with... Triple? Yeah, triple? more than triple welders always no. seems to get be problematic. Oh. What happened? My own on signal crashed. Ah. Yeah, they don't do very well surviving here. No, they're not. Uh, what am I building? <laughs> if you those just arrived, I am building a welder ship to build up my catapult. So I can launch things and us at the enemy. It's totally not me getting distracted unnecessarily by a task that doesn't need to be done. Uh, I've got a weld up large grid, so I don't want to have to do it by hand. And I don't have a jetpack. Uh, that should do it from that point of view. Now we just need some batteries. Um. Why the pain noises, Shadow? 
No, oh, because I'm trying to think what I still needed to do at the ice base. All right, my yeah, brain has not been cooperating this week. Automation of um, transferring hydrogen back and forth. Yep, we're all trying at least. Um, the reason I don't tend to spread out the welders is the same reason I haven't put five there instead of three. The wider I make it, the more likely I am to crash it and destroy the welders. Uh, we do have a welder ship, but it only has a single welder on it. Because Shadow made it more of a general utility ship as opposed to a welding ship. Feel free to just add another welder instead of the grinder. Well... I'm I'm this far down the down the path. I'm just gonna continue down the path. I'm on. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. This way, when I crash this, or when I decide that I'm done with it and I launch it on the um, catapult, it'll be fine. Right. Whereas if I did that with yours, you'd probably be upset. I always have a reason to get upset. Just depends if I want to act on it or not. Uh, no, no, Canada. Remote an antenna rather than a cockpit? No, no. I 100% <laughs> every time want to definitely cheat with third person and not use cameras and the like to try and see what I am doing. I should probably just get some steel plates. So let's see how in God's name are you up at 5 a.m. with Toby. My youngest is four and I'm still catching up on sleep. Um, it's just what I do. Uh, Got to get up early, so I get up early. Uh, that's not gonna work. I've always been a bit of a morning person, anyway. I'm one of those weirdos. You indeed are very weird. It's true. Can't deny it. Energy critical. I'm probably going to need more batteries than I have. We will test. Oh, it's only 0.8G here. I probably don't need as much thrust as this, but eh. Set the batteries on recharge. Not a bad idea. Though, wasn't our base almost out of power last week? Hmm. Because I was sending batteries like, in, in full on full charge. <laughs> like I said, my memory at the moment is very poor. I, uh... I've been running on very low energy lately. Getting better, but... Good that it's getting better, sucks that it happens. Yeah, the flu does that to someone. Yeah. Alright. Now, yep. I need a I'm way sure to get on top of this thing. Or, actually, no. Let's do it this way. Lateral thrust. Uh, no energy. Uh, and my uh, to charge. Uh, uh, oh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh, the engines are running. Cool. Uh, oh, that's right. You, the event controller you set up is actually working. What's going on with your camera? Um. Uh. Shadow, come have a look at the couch. 
I am on my way. Oh dear. Whoa, where's my... Oh, so yes, I might have been flying upside down. What are you gonna do about it? may not be very fitting to the image oh i've i've got my spectator cam showing the relevant image <laughs> so i do have to admit i may or may not have known that this was going to happen <laughs> oh boy Also, that is a good point. This would be a wonderful thumbnail. Oh dear. Well, good one, Chip Six. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I don't think that's sleeping on the job. I believe that's called posing. A late reference. That's what I'd say. <laughs> Although I, I think it's best that I didn't have a reference for that picture. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you could have just picked uh, some old... Um, all those ads that um, the English footballers used to do for various, like Calvin Klein or whatever. Oh, yeah. Because that's the pose. I'm going to just slap the engineer's face on it. Anything perfume. Um, in this, I... Kinda did, I suppose. I was experimenting with poses at the time, and yeah. All right, forward, back, left, right, up, and now I need to be able to get on top and add gyro and control, and potentially more power. having any issues with GPS's suddenly enabling themselves or not disabling after you told them to disable? Uh, no. The issue I've been having with GPS's is that... Yes, come back. Good timing because <laughs> I'm about to whinge about something. Um, is that in local hosted games, if you have anyone create a GPS and you are the host, you see it. Wait, really? Yeah, that's why we haven't been using GPSs in Assertive Acquisitions, because I'm sick of seeing everyone's GPS. And it's not just GPSs, <laughs> I can see beacons at infinite distance too. What? Yep. Had to ask Gruz to make a mod to turn an antenna to look like a beacon block so that I can't see all of Ark's antennas, uh, uh, Ark's beacons. That is so weird. Agreed. Oh, right, I came here for my own welding ship. What? Okay, I guess I'm going from the inside. Is that a new bug? Well, it's been around for several months, so yes and no. Is that... 
I wonder if it's a mod causing it, because I have not been having those issues at all. I mean, AA is known for having weird bugs. <laughs> Fair enough. Much like Survival Unlikely, it's my most heavily modded of any of my playthroughs, and it's um, hard to keep track. Uh, Dells, there's no advantage in making the host of a game that's pushing the limits of what space engineers can do uh, a computer that is slower than my main PC. So, I... yeah. <laughs> that's the reason that I host it, rather than it being on a dedicated, because it was originally on a dedicated server, but I started hosting it when the dedicated server stopped being able to cope. <laughs> that is quite extreme. Also, no, guys, I am not painting a lot of French engineers. That. Not my style. My type of art. You're not gonna make an engineer that's like wearing a little beret? Holding a little easel and painting? Or dressed up like a mime? Are there any other stereotypes we can go for? Oh, holding a baguette. I had, or a croissant. Um, croissant? I was gonna say, like, also, I don't know stereotype, turn off but your cat You said sorry in full caps. <laughs> ah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> oh dear. What am I trying to do? I I really am in those mo oh, moods, like in that mindset, like. I need to do this, so I try to focus on it, and then I completely forget what I was doing, and I go back to where I started. Uh, Only to continue that cycle. So basically, Only you need I me to get, get my act together and finish what I'm doing, so that you can actually have someone leading you at the moment. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. But I am slowly making progress now. Okay, how does my... how do my four batteries hold up with me going forwards, left, and up? 94%, perfect. No unnecessary maps. Yeah, it might also be that I'm just thinking too hard about the design. I should just get something functional going first. Then I can dribble around it like I usually do. Shadow, are you at our main base? Uh, I'm at the ice base. Uh -huh. I was going to show off the fact that I'd um, upgraded our spotlights. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so, I mentioned this in my Friday stream. I have updated the mod that does the searchlights. So it now includes regular spotlights. Because thanks to Digi... I was taught how to oh. uh, enlarge the width of the cone of the light at the same time as extending its Ooh. max radius. Oh, I need that mod in my uh, for. <laughs> you mean oh, you don't patrons. already use it? Rude. I'm sorry! <laughs> and you think I'm being serious. You think I'm being serious? No. Good. 
We're on the okay. same page. Now, we just need to set these things up to carry some stuff. Oh, oh, whoa. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. So, for the ice mining, right? Do I want to use a mining drone or a static drill rig? I've literally built a giant rover that's mining. I know, I that's know. That's what's I know. meant to be used to mine it. I... That's the job of that thing. I... Don't build another thing to, to do the same job. I'm just thinking, like, what am I going to convert it into? You no, over. You use it as it is. That's the idea. <laughs> And how is it going to be automated? It's not! That step isn't! You're oh. meant to automate the transfer! <laughs> not come up with more jobs to do! <laughs> I thought what you were going to do last week was make a drop-off point for the big rover. Or just have a drone that can run from the big rover to our main base. And that was it. That was the goal. Yeah, I suppose it is easier to not have a mining drone then. <laughs> no wonder you were getting stuck with what you were supposed to be doing. Which mod highlights the block you're looking at? That's build info. Uh, pretty much, if you notice something new on my HUD or in the way that my HUD acts, it's build info. Because uh, Digi did a big update to it not too long ago, maybe a month or so ago, and added a whole lot of extra functions to it. Um, I believe they're still working on even more extra functions to add to it. Anyway, <laughs> you okay, Shadow? Just hurting my brain, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> no, but it's just that last week I thought we spoke about fully automating the base, so that's what I was focused on, but I can work around this, so yes, I'm okay. Well, I figure I spent ages building that mining rig, and I'm like, what, I know, you're gonna immediately obsolete it when we don't even have no. the other steps automated yet? I, I did say last week that I'm going to convert it into something automated. Or I could have sworn I said that last week, and you agreed. So... I, I didn't interpret it that way, so one of okay. us misunderstood the other at some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I need many, any metal grids for this. That's probably an okay place to start for the welders. Oh wait, this is the large cargo. Dang it. Uh, James, I use the normal version. I don't use the bleeding edge. Bleeding edge? Uh, of build info. How much space do I have in my cargo now? Oh, I should be able to fit heaps more than that. 
Uh, let's go... 800. Okay. Um, locked. Still got space in the cargo, but let's give this a go. Oh. Yep. Let's see if it wants to work. There we go. Looks like Stuart. Um, if I turned up to the ice lake and my rover was in bits, but Shadow had a functional system, I would have just been like, okay, <laughs> unexpected, <laughs> but I don't take issue with this. It's more that Shadow was so unsure as to what to do next, and <laughs> it turned out that she was just thinking about stuff that I didn't think we needed to do. Not that we need to do anything that we do. But you know what I mean. I mean, if we did stuff the proper way, we would have been done already. Yeah. Evil would have beaten the game or gotten ourselves blown up. Yeah, because we would have gone back to Lazuno and gotten ourselves some magnesium. <laughs> yeah. Instead of building giant catapults. In fact, we would have probably made a giant battleship with ammo already loaded onto it. Yeah. Where's the fun in that, though? Which... Exactly. No, my wheels are not upside down. I think. Pretty sure I paid attention to what I was doing when I was placing, placing those, and then I wasn't just paying attention to chat. Huh? Pretty sure. Possible I didn't, but uh, I think I did. What are you doing now? I'm welding up my basic platform for my rover. Uh, I did not set a limit on the fun music uh, redeem, I just set it to one limit, one per person per stream. Just so Make you set sure a limit, that it's just um, not a limit of how many times it can be done. Yeah. No global limit, just a person limit. Seems like a smart way to do things like that, so that one person can't just dominate the whole stream. Exactly. Because as much as I love fun music, a if I wanted to play the entire stream, <laughs> I would have done it. Uh, also means you can time it more comedically because you know it's limited value. Not limited value, limited use per string. Mm -hmm. uh, wheel suspensions can be upside down. As in, because the suspension will be pushing up or pushing down, and you want it pushing down. That's how wheels can be upside down. Uh, and the top of the suspension does have a little circular thing. However, that circular thing doesn't appear until the final build state. So you don't know at this stage whether I've placed it the right way or not. Yeah, they really should um, probably let us see more obviously, but I mean with wheels it's normally pretty obvious when you place it the wrong way because they'll be pushed the wrong way. Like they'll literally be up in the air instead of down toward the ground. Why am I that. adding cargos to the base? Um, because I want to be able to offload the ice as well, so the miner can immediately continue back to what it's doing. So the base will have some ox oh, yeah, O2H2 generators as well. 
Oh, because you're not using the clever vanilla technique. You're using a scripted technique for the drone. That's your plan, yeah? So you can't use the mo the mobile base as something you can offload. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what it is in reference to because I have an input and an output. Output is going to be for the drone that carries the hydrogen bag. Mm. And input is going to be ice and fuel. Because your rover is capable of transforming ice into fuel at a relatively rapid pace, but not as fast as it can mine. Yeah. So, I will have the base, so it can also process some ice. So it's not idling as well. But I'm trying to be efficient. Efficiency. <laughs> Because last time I was just trying to add more O2H2 gens to the rover, because it definitely have more. You do you. Well, I do plan on doing that. I, I am doing my own insanity. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, just have a look at what components that those suspensions are actually short of, and see what I should add for this next time. I just need to make this spitzy proof, just in case. What? 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 You heard nothing. I mean, at least you can say me proof. You can't say Capac proof anything. It's like child proof. I would not trust Capac with this. As much as I can trust him with some things, I feel at least, this is not something I trust him with. This is too explosive. You still think you can trust Capac with things? Ah, oh, the naivete of the young. I can trust him to be efficient when you're not around. No, you can't. He has proven himself on that one <laughs> Minecraft stream we did. <laughs> How is it for a streamer efficient to not talk and just focus on the game? Unless you're a speaker. Because he gets stuff done in the game. <laughs> Seems counterintuitive for the job at hand. <laughs> Although, to be fair, we were both very, very, yes, very awkward around each other. So. I mean, that's just these... back in a nutshell. Oh wait, I was meant to dang it, I was meant to check what component I need to add to this thing. What was I short of? Um. Oh right, I remember what I was gonna do. Oh uh, power cells I'm definitely gonna be short of, but there was something else that the suspensions are lacking. I'm wondering what it is. Oh, it's the steel tubes. They need heaps of steel tubes. I did not appreciate how many they required. Okay. All right. Let me move this cargo container out of the way. Uh, I'll pull you. This thing out of the way. Let's go. Eighty of them. And small steel yep. tube. Let's go. 100 of them. How come I keep falling in holes? Okay. Everywhere Fill I go, there's holes. Do-do-do. What are you worried about dampeners on the big hydrogen ship for? It's parked. It's not doing anything. The clanging you're hearing is because Shadow decided that she'd turn off my little spinny rotor thing. It hurt. It hurts a lot. <laughs> it never I hurt hate... you. It never hit you at, at all, did it? Or did it? It has. Not leaving damage, but it has. <laughs> it has also been hurting me emotionally. I try to keep the place tidy, and you make that. 
Yeah? I was keeping the inventory tidy. I was getting rid of the stone. The gravel, I should say. Um... I feel really nervous welding next to this single beam of blocks that I have connecting all of this. Really worried I'm going to crash into You're the one with low latency. Yeah, I have a very, very long and storied history of crashing welding ships into things. It's the whole having to get the tips to of the welding right against it. Hmm. Admittedly, I just I... want. Hmm? You go. I just want to say that hinge. Listen, oh, listen, the fuel boom setup you have here. Yeah, it's neat and tidy, it right? It scares me. Why? Especially because of what happened um, earlier today when I was playing on the server with Dwarf. Where we uh, had a Beyblade suddenly appear. As oh. in, our rovers had a lot of Phantom Forces. No, the setup I've got there shouldn't create any Phantom Forces at all. There's no collisions between any of those blocks. It looks like there might be, but there, there isn't. It still scares me. Because the tubes and the, notice the way I've rotated the connector as well. Yeah, I I do see it. It's just that. Yeah, the... I'm a little bit cautious about it. <laughs> I can understand why people would be cautious about subgrids in general, but you know, I did put that degree of thought into it. Just when do you do that? Uh, all the time. I use just often forget to talk about it. until I'm making a tutorial on it. And then mm. I'll miss something bleedingly obvious because I'm so focused on the finer details and talking about them. <laughs> and then I have to re-record the whole tutorial. Oh. That's usually how that works. Well, you are helping a lot of people with those. We shall see. Once all these wheels are done, I think I might re-evaluate what's in these cargo containers and take more bits for the batteries. Subgrids are fun, like building mixed small grid wheels in a large grid crane on a public keen server. Sure! What demon are you trying to summon? It sounds like Lang's brother, Lamo. Yeah. Um, my lift is okay, but my reverse thrust is... Uh, 50... what? only two-thirds of it, so I've been just gradually adding stuff so that if I get to the point where leaning forward with this welding ship can't quite cope, then I want to make sure that I do so gradually and I only over overload it a little bit when I do that. Whereas if I went to fill up the cargo immediately and then tilt forward and crash the whole thing, because I've went so far over the limit, I'd be very sad. <laughs> Clang with a Q. There is a part of me that wants to advocate Clang being with a Q. Just to be weird. But also because then it... Then it just, um means that you're arguing something differently to every... to what so many other people want to argue with playing. And while I hear Shadow's arguments, I disagree with them. You are entitled to your opinion, even if they are wrong. Opinions 
are like butts. Everybody has one and they all stick. There we go. Wait, that's gonna be too far away, isn't it? <laughs> Just like pronouncing gift with an H like Jose. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. That animated hiff. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> what do, do you have a problem with hiffs? <laughs> you, I, I'm guessing you have more than one problem with it and you're not sure where to start. Would that be accurate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurts my soul. Oh. Go on, say whip again. Equipped cream? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Nuki World. That's another way to put it. Opinions are like butt. Split. Or, as... <laughs> as one of my brothers uh, told his son, much to his chagrin later, uh, Oh look! Your bottom's broken! It's got a crack in it! And then his... Um, I think he was two at the time? Two-year-old was no. then very upset and really worried about his broken bottom. <laughs> for some time. <laughs> <laughs> At which point my brother Poor realized guy. he probably shouldn't make those jokes again. So, yeah. Dad jokes can be dangerous. Yeah. That conveyor doesn't dock to a port. That conveyor. What? Which conveyor? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Kanita. And which one of these conveyors? The one on the top. You do know that those cargo containers have a port on those sides as well, right? Why is there a ramp over here? When did that show up? I'm so confused. How did I not see that before? I'm observant, that's how. No, your eyes just got lost. Same diff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's why my sense of direction is so bad. Yeah, hard to navigate when you can't focus. Alright, build these batteries, then I'm gonna slap down some hinges and make this catapult. On the side of the car. So the big, one of the big advantages of going large grid with this is that I can then oh. set this up to launch large grid stuff that it weld up, welds up itself. Yep, you guys were right. Just hard to explain it through chat. Did you forget which sides have conveyors on... Um. No. Oh. No, I. I. Stuck in mindlessly block added conveyors. As well. Uh. Oh well. 
I'll weld it uh, with the welding ship that I have here. It'll well, be it's, fine. It's probably a good thing I built a second one then. Yeah. Speed up construction on both ends. See if we can actually get to use something that we built before, you know, two thirds of the way through the stream. Wow. Hey, I'm criticizing myself as much as anyone else. I'm going to make exploding pumpkins as catapult ammo, right? Uh, no? Although what? I could make them orange. I do normally make my catapult ammunition orange. Just seems right. Oh dear. Uh, I'm going to have to read this because I just have to do it and because I think it'll paint shadow. Uh, I can confirm you don't oh, need no. kids to make dad jokes. You just need to be old. But making <laughs> dad jokes without having kids makes you a faux pas. A what now? <laughs> so a faux pas is like a... <laughs> Actually, this makes it even better dad joke because Shadow doesn't even understand what's going on. Basically a false dad, except a faux pas yeah, is I, like a... I gathered that much, but... Culturally not okay thing. Oh. Oh. Like, if I were to, say, walk up to the... Walk up to the King of England and try and give him a high five. That would be a faux pas. Yes, others might call it a blunder. Yes. <laughs> huh. Okay. The more you know, hmm. I suppose. I guess I just had the joy of never learning that. Yay, me? <laughs> uh, oh, I might be overshooting. Let's be realistic, Shadow. English is esoteric at best. The fact that you can hold cogent conversations 99% of the time, you should feel pretty proud. It's second nature to me, so... <laughs> to me, it's like being proud of walking. I can do it, but sometimes it is... not well, but, but I can your do second it language, without much which, effort. You know. yeah. And you, you said to me you, you've learnt most of it online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was bored in English classes just because I knew it all already, and teachers were very annoyed with me because of that, because they couldn't teach me anything. People, multilingual people, are always a bit impressive to me. Well, one of those things I wish I was. What's stopping you? A time, mainly. Eh? I'm aware faux pas is not a native English phrase, but it is definitely being completely stolen by English. Oh! Oh! I did not realize we had 149 units of uranium. <coughs> oh, oh, kilograms. Well, you collected some, right? Yeah, but I did not realize it would be that much. Oh. Yay for railgun ammo? Yay for reliable power? So sensible. I try to be. One of us has to. Also, I may or may not be stealing some iron. It's what the English language does. We find words we like, beat them over the head with a half brick, half brick, and say these words are ours now. Yeah. So basically, Pell World. Well, I suppose, 
suppose that's fitting, considering the, the Japanese approach is add you to the end of the word and then call it a day. Have you still been uh, obsessively playing Power World, Shadow? Or have you finished I may everything or may you not, want to? I may or may not be close to beating the game. After... I don't even know how many hours. Like, 70? But, to answer your question, yes. Yes, I have been. <laughs> I, uh, am still enjoying my time with Power World. I've been very much enjoying the building in Enshrouded. Hasn't really yeah, got any of the automation so. stuff that you crave, but it's got some really good aesthetic stuff. I mean, to be fair, I did enjoy Falheim until it became the hardcore grind fest that it kind of is now, if you want to go into the later game. Yeah. Yeah. So. I might visit it someday, but like I... Ooh, that, wait, no, there is no hole here. Valheim definitely but, suffers from the MMO grind disease. Mm -hmm. But what I've been saying, like, if I finish Bellworld, I might visit Enshrouded, but I cannot do any guarantees. Fair. Thanks, Batman! Thanks so much for 10 months! Have I set the catapult batteries to recharge? No, I have not. Uh, we should be gaining charge on the base, though, because of... Well, assuming Shadow comes back with some more hydrogen soon. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Well, you do have a manual way to transfer some. enough of the miner for now. Of course it's not a miner, it's a welder, but you don't know what I mean. It's fine. <laughs> Brain you weren't no even welding up a miner. You were welding up a catapult. I know. My brain broke it. It broke it, did it? More than normal? Probably. Hmm. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I'm considering that Kenny Mart, just lowering the wheel suspension a little bit to get the connection. But right now I'm just having it hover over it. Hey, Drew Dragon, thanks so much for 15 months. And I don't know why my voice cracked then. <laughs> I choose to blame various daycare illnesses. Funny how it happened when you said teen. Teen? Oh no. I dropped a taco in the deep fryer. I... Mm. What? No, oh, it's just... nothing. This kind of makes me sad I cannot do the Morty voice I was able to do when I was sick at one time. <laughs> and I don't know if I should try and practice it, because I guess I know that I can technically pull it off, but... Uh. It's unfortunate I don't have a recording of that. I have neighbors. <laughs> I don't think they'll appreciate me trying to practice that voice. 
Alright, I have a decision to make, Shadow, and I'm unsure how to make it. So, for the catapult, I'm trying to decide where to place the hinges. I think about two-thirds of the way along is going to be ideal, because I want it to be fairly... Like, I don't want the catapult arm sticking way out the back of the rover, but equally... I don't want the catapult arm um, when it reaches its peak to flip the rover over because there's not enough rover behind it to stop it from flipping or not enough rover in front of it to compress into the ground and stop it from flipping. So my solution to that would be to have the hinge to the left of your cockpit, so at the front, but then have like those little feet that cranes have to support yourself and lock yourself <laughs> to the ground. I mean, I suppose that would be an option. Or I at am, the very least, at the front and back. I am thinking about locking it to the ground, but I'm also thinking, well, if it can work without that, it would be ideal. Uh, right, so... <laughs> I have rickrolled a few people in my lifetime, yes. I uh, just do it very sparingly. Actually, fun fact, um, a friend of mine who was running a D&D session wanted to have some art, and one of those artworks that he wanted was a little PC screen with the blue screen of death, of, or doom, or however you want to call it. Oh, you mean but, like I did in my... <laughs> Which video did I do that in? I know what you're about to say. Go ahead. But yeah, um, there was a QR, a QR code there, and I thought like, you know what? Let me get a QR code for the link to... Well, they're never gonna give you up. I got so many angry messages from those people. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why um, I just used the QR code to link to my own YouTube channel. Or Twitch channel, I think I did. Well, to be fair, they were my friends. Yeah. They just never expected that from me, because, <laughs> like I said, I do it very sparingly. Safe to say, I had a good time. Uh, yes, in a way I am making a mobile launch air base. Except the catapult arm is longer and the speed limit here is higher, so it will launch with a lot more force. We have to put a sound bomb on our first launch. Uh, Because that would be funny, just hearing Kappa going his, uh... Oh. However you call it. Just <laughs> growing <laughs> quieter <laughs> as it is launched away. We don't have magnesium, so we can't do warheads. That's why we're launching hydrogen. Let's that one off the bingo list. Why don't you close your helmet when you're suffocating? Because we have no helmet! You can't fill out the bingo card yourself, Shadow. That doesn't count. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I did get scammed during a bingo we did at school because uh, we were trying to... Oh, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Something about jobs, like what jobs were interesting, and then we had to fill out our own card. But we first had a vertical, a horizontal, and then diagonal. In that order. So, the horizontal happened, and then I was like, but that also completes my vertical. So I immediately said, like, I have a bingo, and then he's like, yeah, no, that doesn't count. And then I was sitting there like, but, but what? bingo. <laughs> yeah. I just said it doesn't count because I got it the same the same round 
as the horizontal. Was it that they did say that both didn't count or neither were counting? It seems unfair. So, horizontal happened, and in that same turn that the horizontal happened, the vertical happened, which was mine. Which, am I wrong in assuming that would count? I would have thought it would. I've never played proper bingo. Hmm. It, it wasn't proper bingo. Not enough elderly people there. Which actually does sound fun. I do want to do bingo with uh, the elderly someday. Also, wow, that assembler is slow. Oh yeah, you're welding too no. fast for it. Uh, the reason I'm piping this up, for anyone wondering, is that we're going to need to weld the ammunition that's being launched. So if I pipe it up, well, we have to weld it and we have to be able to send hydrogen into the thing being welded up. So if I pipe this up, I can put welders on the back end of the rig here. Hopefully. Oh no, the arm's going to be too short then. How am I going to do this? I'll figure it out at some point. Maybe I'll make the arm out of pistons. So I can extend it. Retract it back, weld the thing up, extend it out, get the extra length. Yeah, that'll work. At least until it explodes. And like throwing a flaming barrel, but instead of lighting the barrel on fire, you weld up the barrel. Yeah, sure. Sounds suitably medieval enough. Uh, <laughs> Cloak and Dagger, the mod list is basically just Aries at War. Uh, and feel free to ask as many questions as you like. There's no stupid questions, only stupid answers. And we are very adept at giving stupid answers. Yeah. Accurate. Ooh. I mean... Have you seen what we're doing here? We do stupid here. <laughs> we're not doing things the smart way. Would it not be more stable if the welders had the piston so the arm is always a solid arm? Actually, good call, Kel. I like that. I will, uh... Yep. Good idea. saying there's no such thing as a stupid question and am I saying that Kapak has never asked a stupid question? Uh, yeah. Most of the things that Kapak asked that annoy me are things I've already answered to him specifically before. And he just has not listened or has chosen to ask again because he knows how much it annoys me. Because I'd, I'd estimate that 90% of the time that he's, he annoys me, it's on purpose. Okay, so... I mean, it has to be. Five... Alright, I'm going to try and walk through my calculations here and people can tell me how wrong or right I was so oh dear large grid hinges can rotate at 30 rpm maximum it's approximately a quarter of a full rotation that the hinges <coughs> <coughs> don't die <laughs> 
Half is not worth it, Splits. Half is not worth it. Oi. Okay. Where was we gotta I? We're gonna do some focal exercises as well. <laughs> Quickly warm up again. Ah, I fell off the tube. No, stay on the tube. Ah, fine. Be like that. Anyway. Was that an awful voice crack? Are you going through puberty again? I hope not. <laughs> also, I keep forgetting that I have a cargo container right here that's piped up now. So, back to what I was saying. Large grid hinges have a maximum rotational speed of 30 rotations per minute. The projectile will be moving through an arc of a quarter of a rotation. So what I needed to figure out was how much... Uh, how long an arm I needed to move through a quarter of a rotation and for that, for the distance of... Because uh, it'll take about a second for it to do that or I can work it out at about a second because it does take about that long so I want to just work out how long an arm would be needed to do a quarter of a rotation at sorry the See, this is why I knew I wasn't going to be able to explain that what I calculated last night but I still think I'm correct <laughs> I can't explain it but I'm right <laughs> yeah Uh, yeah, so, if the arm goes through an arc of 250 meters in one second, then it will, the exit velocity will be about 250 meters per second. So I just worked out how long the arm needed to be to do that. And I think the answer is 34 large grid blocks or slightly under. But close enough. What I might do is do a test launch with the current length just to see how far it, this gets me anyway. To see if I really need to bother having all of the extra length. How much force is needed to accelerate in 0.5 seconds? Well, that's why the five hinges. Because each hinge maxes out at one giganewton meter of torque. So if I have five, I have five giganewton meters of torque and hope that that's enough. But I have no idea how much I actually need. I haven't attached the other heads yet, no. I've left them detached just so I can easily move it about with build vision safely using build vision to move something with multiple parts actuating the same uh, joint or however you want to describe it is not something I like doing it does tend to create phantom forces quite quickly alright so how long is this to begin with what I've currently set up so that's one two actually if I just count these bigger parts one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> So, it's currently 40 meters long. Forty two point five. Yeah, not bad. All right, so if I slap this on here, and then I get a button panel, and then we do a thing to reverse all these hinges. You can see how far this flings me. Ooh. Ooh. 
lag can be very scary sometimes. Uh, currently at minus 90, so all of these should probably have an upper limit of... Yeah, we'll just sit here at zero for now. Max the torque. settings I should probably name the hinge before I do all this copying cat uh, alt hinge okay uh, Spitz I might need your brain for a moment um, uh -oh. so yep. I currently have the problem where the connector of the rover is a bit too high up so, I have two ideas, one of which was provided through chat. Uh, I can lower the wheel suspensions on the rover to get that connection. Energy low. Or I can add a platform that would also guide you toward connecting properly, like aligning. So, my thinking is I wouldn't change anything on the rover, I would change your static grid to put the connector in the right position. Probably just through a piston. The reason for that is the rover, anything you change on the rover like wheel suspensions is something you have to then change back every time you disconnect it, which is just going to be a major hassle. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you fix the base connector with a piston, then it's always in the right spot. I think I'm better off doing a rotor because it's not even a half block in between. It's literally a... Oh. Whatever. <laughs> but I, but yeah, extending yeah. the base end of things is, I think, the smart way to go. Okay. So you'd rather have a piston? Uh, rather pistons than are a more rigid. Platform. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, because my thoughts was um, I would make a little thing you can drive onto with your wheels, so that would help with aligning and would also. Oh wait, no, I need to lower. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I can... generally would adjust the base in this instance, because adjusting the the vehicle is going to be uh, something you have to unadjust each time you connect. Yeah, the only problem I have right now then is be oh, I don't have the room for a piston. Ah, well then, yeah, rotor oh, is I've... your way to go. Yeah. Oh, well, do I? Wait, hang on. Hang on. No, nope, I do need a rotor. Catapult hinges. Thanks so much, Arto. Thank you for 23 months. How's it going? Let's see if that wants to work. Uh, Alright. Unable to, to place drop my connector. stuff off and then see how far this launches me. Okay. Oh, wait. I've done. I've not done one thing. Dang it. I haven't actually set the velocities on these. And this is why I carefully place them all the same direction. Oh. Uh, what do we? What would we predict in this instance? Shadow, what do you predict? Do you think I will just die? Do you think I will get launched a decent distance? Or do you think it will just not do anything? I'd say go, like... Three distances, like 0, 500, 500, 1500, 1500 plus. I die on launch, that's basically making it no distance. Uh, we're going to go with height, because I think I'm going to go straight up. I don't think I'm going to get launched forward. Actually, maximum distance from the base, even if that's in elevation. Uh... Less than one kilometer. Mm -hmm. Greater than one and uh, one kilometer. And we'll do one more option of greater than three kilometers. If so, it's greater than three, the greater than ones don't get it. Alright. Give people a give people a minute. Alright, I need to drop off my stuff. I may as well get myself charged up. 
you're gonna die anyway. Yeah, I'd like to survive until I die. <laughs> you know that that's a good uh, good way to stand in life as well. Also, I get to lie down on the couch. Wait. And I thought Capic was lazy. Hey, gotta recharge, gotta recharge. Sure, sure. So if this works out, what's the odd to use it to transfer ice from the ice mining base to this one? <laughs> oh man, if we could accurately set up a catapult and get that sort of range out of it, that would be kind of cool to fling giant boulders of ice back to home and have it hit a collector and be collected. That'd be pretty cool. I don't think we can get enough distance, because how far away are you, Shadow? From the base? Uh, oh, you're 3 at 3.34. Okay, uh, we may be able to make that. Let's find out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no? have put so much work into this as well. Uh, are you watching my stream? I am. Or are you spectating me? Because I'm about to launch. I, hang on, let me actually do spectator. Uh, you can also lock spectator to my character. Already on it. Cool. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah? You well, ready? Yep. Here goes. Three. Two. One. Go. Well, I got up to 180 meters a second. Uh... And 1.48 kilometers up. <laughs> that is um, quite impressive. Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't die on launch. I did get greater than one kilometer, but I did not get greater than three. Oh, I'm back in my suit. Cheater. Cheater. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a reason we got medbay on one of our... The reason I got the medbay on one of my hot bars. Because you cheat all the time. Mm. Yes. Uh. Why did it not look like the catapult move? Because the catapult moved so quickly we didn't actually get to see it. I was just instantly at 180 meters a second. I also now need to build another um, button so I can bring this down. Uh, huh. Okay, well, so... I do have some good news. I think oh. the base is almost functional as in we can transfer hydrogen from the rover to the drone. Cool. But it has no power for itself yet. Oh, yeah, I show hydrogen. Ooh. I want to just quickly try a thing. Uh -oh. Let me stand closer to this. Will it stop me from going straight up? Nope. I am almost literally straight up this time. Well, so that is how we're going to go to space? Ooh. Make an ion ship and just heat it upwards? <laughs> That's an interesting idea, P Fangy. Um, if I start not at horizontal, will I go more forward? Hmm. Interesting. Fine. Let's give it a go. Um, I don't think any follow-through on the catapult matters, because 
I'm leaving the catapult before it even gets close to horizontal, but starting at a more angled position, I wonder if that'll change its launching of me. Now, launching blocks is going to be a very different kettle of fish. Because I'm going to use an event controller to do that. But just for the fun of this, let's reverse that, and we will set our lower limit to minus... Let's say 65. We started a bit of an incline. Okay, here we go. A little bit more horizontal. Like a fair bit more. Made it 1.8, 2 kilometers, 2.2, 2.3, and now we're going downhill and 2.65. <laughs> That's uh, pretty impressive. Well done. Thanks. Uh, sensors won't work if they don't have a high enough tick rate, but event controllers seem to in my brief creative mode testing the other day. It'll pass through the sensor too quickly so the sensor won't actually detect it's passing. <coughs> Running up hydrogen. Why is it on top? Now I'm just curious. <laughs> Why is that so... Whoa! Oh, oh, uh, I guess I'm going home. <laughs> uh, huh. Did your drone oh, just decide going... to do its own thing? Yeah, I'm glad I was seated on the drone as it moved away because I would have been stuck there otherwise. Eh. Oh no, I can't jump up... Ah! Uh! Ow. I can't jump up the 45 degree slope. I wonder if I can hit the button from also, where I was. Yes, you know what that means? What? I did your on its way. Yay! Yes, I can hit the button. I get to hitch a ride. Boing! Three point oh one kilometers. Oh yeah. Well, well done. Thanks. I think. <laughs> oh dear. Now we just need to extend the arm a little bit, and we'll get a considerable, like, considerable increase, I think, in distance. Hey, Shadow, another bingo. Yep. Why don't uh, you use the jetpack to get to the catapult some... quicker? <laughs> I don't have a jetpack. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Minecraft lever right there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Okay, first load of hydrogen is... Um, well, connected. Cool. Uh, the H2 tanks will explode on impact, yeah. Alright, I need my tools back, because now we're going to launch some blocks and see how oh, far my... they go. Rune, come back! No! I wasn't out with you! No! You need, no. Your, you need to bring your own thing to... Hey, I didn't base. pack a lunch for him yet! Oh, they <laughs> grow up so fast! Oh. Anyway. Oh, Nectar, hydrogen, drop. There we go. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if there's going to be enough torque in those five hinges 
for me to just put the welders on the end of the catapult arm rather than having it as a separate thing on the main grid. Should probably try that first. Have it all as okay. part of the same thing. And if there's not enough torque, I could I could add two more hinges either side substantially increase the torque that way. Why are those things on stock though? A small grid box full of stone will do nearly uh, no damage because stone doesn't do damage. Um, a small grid box full of ammunition, if we had magnesium, would do devastating am damage with its explosion. Then why don't we use magnesium? Well, just like I said, we don't have any. Uh, Alright, so conveyor junction. Then I need to have more space over here that I can walk. Yep, agreed. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoa, nope, nope. That didn't work. I had to frantically place a block down as I was falling, and I missed. Which I imagine oh. surprises nobody. I do need to be a bit careful with that hydrogen drone flying around now. <laughs> oh, speaking of, it's already on the move. Ah, cool. <laughs> so... If I do a welder there... Then we go with... Ooh. Merge block. Another merge block there, but I need to build this up first. Okay. Nitrogen tank is there. Yes. Launching fully charged jump drives if we had the jump drive explosion mod, which I don't know if Ares does or not. Do you know? I don't think so. I do like the jump drive critical explosion though. That's it adds some fun spice. Indeed. And would be a very expensive way to uh, create ammunition. <laughs> it's not a practical weapon. Nate game calls. <laughs> oh, it's especially expensive in uh, this pack though. Yes. Yes, it is. That is exactly what has been set up, Nita. I'm gonna jump on top of this thing. If drone connector equals connected, then base tanks to stockpile. And the moment it unlocks, it uh, basically turns off stockpile. Not sure why I was having difficulty finding words. Yeah, I am just not braining. Braining's hard. Okay, Indeed. so I think my first launch that I plan for testing here should just be a beacon and a battery. Anything more and it starts getting a little expensive. Oh, right, that's what I need to add, a battery. I knew I was forgetting something. There you go. And then an event controller. Uh... Uh, don't want to do small grid because I need this to be a large grid thing and the large grid thing will probably for sighting in will probably include a battery and a beacon I feel like being unable to see where we're hitting uh, will be a problem unless we sight in with something else but this will be about similar mass anyway as a hydrogen thing I just don't want to waste our hydrogen until hydrogen to waste the waste away. To convert the Giga Newtons into the amount of force here, you need to understand, like, 
the relationship of the torque to the length of the arm, the amount of mass at the end of the arm, and a whole lot of other things which we don't have all of the information for without going to the wiki or adding up the mass of all these blocks and things. Which is a lot more than I'm ever going to be bothered to do, so I'm just going to launch the thing. Chad, have you already headed back? Or are you still around? I have fled the premises. Oh. But I shall be back soon. Okay. Just setting up a battery and then I can go. Currently setting up the fence controller as I wait for the battery parts to be constructed. So guest... No, not guest tank field. Connector connected. Uh... I need but to in, name the things here. In this amount hey, of gravity, you need about, and I'm being very approximate here, about eight newtons per gram just to counteract gravity. I think it's, I think that's right. Is eight newtons per gram or eight newtons per kilogram? I always forget which order, of which size that is. Someone will correct me. I am sure. It's always a bigger nerd. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, per kilogram. So you need 8 newtons per kilogram to resist gravity on this planet. Roughly. Alright, so what we want is angle changed equal to or greater than... Let's say let's release at minus... 40. Catapult hinge, add block. So when the catapult hinge gets to equal to or greater than minus 40 degrees, that merge block will switch off and the beacon and battery will be flung. So a Giga Newton can lift an unknown amount at this arm length because we don't know... You, you guys, unless you're counting very carefully, aren't going to know exactly the arm length or easily be able to work out the mass at this arm length because the arm length is going to influence how much torque is required. So it's it, it all just gets way too complicated. Uh, why was I coming up here? Oh, I know why I was coming up here. Okay, broadcast radius by default is 20Ks. Um, might. Let's do something quickly. Oh, actually, I'll wait. I'll wait to see how this goes. If this goes really well, then I should probably just plan for a proper blueprint rather than this blueprint. Put a seat on it. Um, all right, I'll put a seat on it. Time for me to die. Yay! Wait, no, 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 I'm not going to put a seat on it because I need to have a gyroscope. Otherwise, it's going to have a really, really unpleasant um, experience, viewing experience. Hi, drone. Okay, but I'm back home. You ready to watch? Uh... Hang on, let me get in my ship so I can follow you as well. Actually, no, I don't want to follow you. I'm not dying. What? Okay, no, I'm going to follow you. <laughs> if I die, something has gone very, very wrong. And also, you're going to need a lift back home. Nope, because I'm not flying on it. What? I'm not flying on it. There's a beacon that's going to be launching. Oh! Oh, that's what you mean. Oh... Are you going to put a seat on it? Because you're going to spin a lot. No. Yeah. I will not do that to my viewers. Yeah, exactly why I'm not doing it. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, launching in three, two, one, launch. Oh, poop. <laughs> 
Whoa, so fast! I didn't uh, even see it move! I need to do a thing. I apparently wasn't looking at the button properly, so I'm just going to make a seat. A proper seat. So I can hit a hot control on my hotbar. Also, I just want to say it is a little bit worrisome that it's kind of in line with the drone. Yeah, but only until I disconnect it. It's fine. It's totally fine. I just hope you don't hit the drone. I finally have a drone up and running after how many streams? <laughs> uh, I don't think that auto dampening to this will work because the grid's going to split. You can try, but I don't think it's going to work. The grid's going to split and it will remain the, the, the arm. Okay. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Uh oh. Okay, that Ring actually chase. went pretty well. It's not broadcasting though. Yes, it is. Oh wait, no. Now it is. Uh, it is currently at three kilometers from launch location. Three point five. <laughs> it is very high up. <laughs> four. Four point five. Five kilometers. Five point five. And dead. It's still going. What? I'm still following. <laughs> Coming down. I think I lost the sink distance. I think that's what happened. Right there. Hang on, let me get you a GPS in a moment. Or just, um... Are you... F are you able to broadcast from where you are? Nope, I oh. don't have an antenna on this thing. I did extend the beacon range. It was at 20k's. It which didn't is even damage the fox or when it exploded. Oh. Uh, but I think it left Oops. server sync distance, which is why I lost it. That's epic. We have... We have range. <laughs> now I've just got to make it launch hydrogen tanks. There you go. This is approximately where it landed. Oh. Eight and a half kilometers. <laughs> I don't even... I think we could have built this on the base. To hit the target <laughs> we're trying to hit. Yeah, I think so too. However, but I... we do need to have a, a higher path to get down into that valley that we need to hit. So it'll have a shorter range, but... It'll go higher and then come back down. Yeah. 8.5 Ks. I am pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> yeah, on a rotor to aim it to, on the base would have worked pretty well. Yeah, we could sling I I well you wouldn't sling ice containers, you'd just sling ice. Massive boulders of ice. Yep, I have an event controller set to do the releasing of the merge block, which is surprisingly capable of giving quite controlled release timings. Now I need to think about how I'm going to set this up because I think what we'll do is we'll fling the small hydrogen tanks. Oh, the one by twos. Yeah. Because then we'll have more chances to hit. So I need to have both connectors and hinges to make this work because I need to be able to get fuel across the gap. I'm just trying to think about which way, whether I want to have the hinge in them. The, I think I'll leave the merge block where it is. And I'll go with a connector underneath. And I'll make sure that the connector has zero magnetic strength. Uh, Kenny Mart, the moment the drone leaves the base is when it has 100% charge. So even if it does have hydrogen fuel remaining, it will go back to the 
uh, ice base. But it won't leave if it has less than 100% battery charge. Um, should we have a tank on the base that's set to stockpile then or something? You mean like the free bases, bases, the free tanks we already have down here? Uh, that are full. Mostly full. All right, engines on? Yes, yes cool. they are. All right, cool. Well, yay, this is going really well. We've got lots of stuff. Uh, strength, zero. Uh, what I'll also do with this setup for the, the launcher mechanism thing is I think what I'll want is going to be... Oh no, that's annoying. This doesn't work very well. I think the merge box is probably better underneath. Oh, Christopher, thank you for the Prime sub. I think it'll be more space efficient. So the merge block can be on the side of the hydrogen tank, but the connector can't be. Huh? What did I miss? I missed it. So in this case, we've got heavy gas, so um, fill level on the tank will matter for both distance and explosive utility. I'm trying to get my brain around this and it's... my brain's not working. Hey, I had that a moment ago. Although currently I'm considering what I can do. I'm thinking about rebuilding the base just a little bit more. Seems like a good use of time. Um, yeah, let me just go One thing here. I mean, you could help me with what I'm working on here. Uh, I, I don't think what I'll be doing is helping. <laughs> No, no, like, uh, while I'm working on figuring out this end, uh, I need to get a fuel supply on this rover. So I need tanks and stuff down the far oh. end of it. Or potentially even lining either side of where the catapult arm goes so that it's heavy at the, heavy at the end that the catapult starts. Uh, so, if we go... Oh, jeez. Merge block the drone is fast. There. Then it would be... Connector. Then hydrogen tank. So, tanks like on so. that rover. Yeah. Because I need something to provide the fuel to the bombs. So I was thinking you can put stuff on either side here because the arm is has a perfectly controlled angle. Mm -hmm. um, and since they're heavy, they might be useful. But yeah, it, if you want to... As long as it doesn't get in the way the arm swings, I don't care how you do it. And where is the cockpit going to be? That's a good point. Couldn't the connector be attached to a connector on the rover and disconnected before launch? Ah. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on the arm. That could simplify it. Sorry, Shadow, what was your question? Uh, where is the cockpit going to be? Is it going to be uh, toward be... the southwest or yeah, toward it's southwest. right now? And I'll quickly rebuild that and then I'll see how I can do the tanks. Okay. Oh, oh rebuild. Get it functional. Yeah, I like, I like chat's idea here. I think it's a good one. Uh, so it should simplify things a bit. And also remove some weight off the swinging arm. We 
go back to the original design of having the merge block here. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden Pegasus. Thank you for 15 months. Quick question, is there any way to speed up the processing of hydrogen on small grid vehicles? Other than using more O2H2 gens? No. I mean, I'm sure there's a mod out there that makes them faster, but I don't think that counts as a solution. Unless you're talking about lightning, in which case it always counts as a solution. Oh, that's all you did. Okay. Wait, lightning? Yeah. As in getting rid of lightning using a mod counts oh. as a solution in my books. Yep. I mean, this is going to be a weird little dangly bit off the back just to pipe this up so that there's a connector piped up, but I think it'll work okay. It'll be fine. The things that we make aren't weird. Valid. Oh, Might let me place it. Interesting. Huh. Whoa! Jeez. Oopsie. I was thinking of walking there, but now I don't trust it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in I wasn't intentionally disconnecting all of that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh, no, JJ's. I'd prefer you didn't, because things like that are, um, rife with scams these days. Hmm. Do I need to... Connect up all to the rover, or do I just build a weird pipe that connects up to this connector? <laughs> or... Hang on, hang on. Hanging on? I Inventory remove this connector. And I put a, just a little conveyor on this delivery device. The connector will then hit the welder and that'll not work. Uh, good job. Thanks. At least I worked it out now. Could have been worse. <laughs> yeah. Why are you unable to place? Uh, because you haven't got the edge that gives a connection down. Yeah. To be the correct edge down first with those window blocks. Sure. Now, Oh wait, does this need to be... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Oh boy, this is, this is definitely gonna go weird. Am I just... Huh. Okay. And I'll work my way down, I suppose. There we go. And... Much like the, uh... S-Bend in your bathroom sink, this'll totally do exactly what it's supposed to. I'm sure. What? Have a look what I've had to do because I went weird. And don't you? Um, rarely. It is rare that I don't. I'm also a little bit too close to the base and I don't think oh. it's going to let me place what I want to place. <laughs> I 
Are you okay? You got a better solution for me? Exactly. <laughs> uh, we are currently on Loris, but um, I'm just gonna let you deal with that monstrosity. Yeah, I can understand that. Inventory full. No parts. Ah, left the welder on. Oh, that's usually not a good idea. Yeah, especially when you're trying to grind something down and it instantly gets repaired. Inventory full. Oh. Oh, I guess it's better than being, well, welded shut. Burned. Do, 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 do. I can't use the back of the welder because I couldn't easily... Oh, the back? Uh, I probably could have gotten access to that, actually. I was thinking I can't get to the side, so I'm not going to use... Dang it. I scratched my head, and when I put my hand back on my mouse, I moved it just enough that I fell off the pipe. What? How did you manage that? Because I bumped the mouse, because I wasn't looking at it. Yep. Mouse does not equal movement. It does when Unless you're running. you moving already. Okay, yeah, well, there. You that bit of context I did not have. <laughs> okay. That's better, I think. And then have this connected in a slightly less wonky way. Impossible. I did. Uh, I did say slightly. Just need to lift this thing up, and then I should be able to place this connector. Uh, Shadow, make sure anything is clear, because blam. Please don't dangle that tank on top of me. <laughs> uh, so the reason to go with the smaller tanks is... This gives us more shots before we run out of fuel. That's the entire reason. Because it's going to take us a few sighting in shots and things like that to try and get it to the roughly right position. And they have to be sighted in while fully loaded up. Because if we launch them empty, they have a different mass. And that's going to have a different impact on the rotational speed of the launching arm. We do actually need to launch something that matches mass-wise. Oh, would help to actually enable my own light. Oh, yeah. I've respawned a few times, so I forgot my light was off. Alrighty. Slap this thing down. Plan. Zero ah. magnet, just in case I forget to... Just because uh, I probably won't turn off the connector, I'll probably just disconnect it before the launch. Um, right. So, Shadow, when we Hi. do these launches... Uh, do you want to be the person 
triggering the launch or the person trying to spot where it hits? I think I'll be the person that tries to run away from this entire contraption. Oh, no, no, we, we, we actually literally need someone to watch where it's going to hit. Because uh, I'm not, because, because this isn't a sighting, because these will be genuine attack launches. I think we shouldn't let ourselves use Spectator. Yeah, I can be the scout. Okay. Yeah, so you'll have to sit say. just outside the two and a half K range of the base and see what you can see with the camera as to how I need to adjust my launch. Mm -hmm. If we manage to get any hits, I'm going to be amazed. I'm going to be amazed if we get to launch one today. At the enemy base, that is. Why? We're basically done. I've got a effective mun munition. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, if I switch lock on this, turn you off, then I can name this grid. I can get into the... Nope. Fine. I'll build a little control panel on it. How do we all need a ship? We have... Well, technically have two that are capable of scouting. Yeah, we've got a few scout-capable things. the strength on this and switch lock and it's just gonna hover there and now i can do things all right Munition. but i do have one very important question yes what is this thing going to be called the catapult really yeah, not no as in that's the thing you were asking about oh yeah yeah <laughs> Um, it's a good question. Control B. Because personally, I feel like it should be no, something they... badass, like the Devil Slinger or something. But there you go. I have a blueprint. Turn this back on. Now turn this strength down. Yeticus, death from above, scatterpult. Oh, death from above, the munition name. Onager. Hydro Yeeta, the quarterback. Blingsy. Energy low. <laughs> Firm handshake. Firm handshake? <laughs> oh dear. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, names aren't important. Devastation yes, and landing in the right spot. That's what's important. Also, linking up the conveyor systems. That's important, too. Oh, no, I missed. Uh, I was jumping to try and take a shortcut. I failed the jump. Ooh. The near miss. <laughs> the near miss. I kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't name it until Energy it's not part of the low. base. Is it safe for me to be on here as you... Disconnected. 
Oh, I'm not disconnecting it yet. Oh, okay. Need to build those hydrogen tanks. Oh, yeah. I'm almost done creepling this anyway. Oh, oh planner. Rude. And we also need cargo. We're building up parts. I do have one more quick question. Hmm? Do you have a connector to connect to the base? Uh, no, because I'm hooked up to the base directly right now. So we just have an umbilical cord right now. Yeah. Precisely. Fair enough. Uh, four large hydrogen tanks and a couple of large cargoes should be enough resources for us to start with, you think, wouldn't it? Two large cargoes should be more than enough. You reckon the tanks as well? Uh, probably. Four large ones full up? Did Shadow dust this with powdered sugar? Well, I... Copied Shadow's color scheme, so I'm gonna say yes. I literally copied your color scheme. Oh, you came up with this first, didn't you? No, you took the shade of blue. Oh yeah, I'm I talking about the, pus the, the powdered sugar look, the snow. No, that was you. Was it? I think. That was you. And I wasn't complaining about it. Yeah, me neither. It's just that I, I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hmm. Well. Must have been Capac. I was about to say it must have been chat. Hey, you know what I did with the colors? Rainbow yeah. unicorn? Yes. I do remember <laughs> that. No, oh, beat me to it. I try to be helpful sometimes, but only sometimes. Only sometimes. Oh, we need gyroscopes on this thing. Plenty of them. Be smart. Look at us actually working together. I know. Feels wrong. <laughs> Feels like we're approaching a uh, a juncture where we have to then come up with what we're what big goal is going to be next. If this thing can hit the enemy base at all, we'll actually maybe be able to get silver. A couple of months later than we Ooh, might have yeah. expected, but still. Thanks. Going postal? That would be another suitable name, I suppose. Mm -hmm. oh. I just need to buy my own. Hydrogen drone is back. Or on its way back. Oh, hello. Sorry. Hey. Uh... I was standing in the way. That's my bad. I got distracted by the. Then a signal that's coming toward us.
Wasn't getting silver last year's school. Was it last year? Did we really launch this last a year ago? Like um, not a year ago. I think last we year. launched. I think we launched last year, but then landed this year. I think that's how we did it. Oh yeah, that that checks out. Uh, I think our best place for a connector is going to be up the front, Shadow. If you might, if you want to think about how that might work with your cockpit design. Because with this dangly bit off the uh, back, it'll be quite difficult to connect. I mean, it should work quite easily. You just need to get the conveyor in, which might be a bit more tricky. Oh, I'm not sure I feel comfortable calling it the Hindenburg. Maybe the ammunition could be called that, but I don't think calling the launcher that would um, bode well for its future survival. Uh, huh. Your ability to do slight side-to-side -side adjustments to your aim is going to be the difficult thing at the range you are launching. Your MOA? What's MOA stand for in this context? Energy low. Oh yeah, I need a projector on the arm, thank you. That is another thing I've forgotten. Oh, that makes it very hard to see, but I think that's the right way up. Yes, okay. No, we can't call it DHL because then it'll never arrive. Well, then we should call it UPS because it arrived way too early. <laughs> oh, have a good one, Roy. And good to see you again. I'll be it to say hi. Okay. Projector. Let's do that before I forget that. Set up my blueprint. Wait, whoa, did I just get software collector? Yes. Blueprints. Munition. Oh. Keep projection. Um, done. Projector is set up. Oh dear, the gas passer. No. <laughs> That sure is a name. I feel like if we're gonna go that angle, you go with something like just calling it Uncle Fred. Or Fred. <laughs> uh, right. Gyros, that's the next thing. Lots and lots of gyros. Added Wait, bonus of gyros of is that they are heavy, so that'll add to the, the mass of the rover, making it more stable. Fair enough. 
I also added a quick connection port for the scouting ship. Ah, cool, nice. So it's a. Uh, you connect. Are you setting up a connector at the front of the sh front of the yeah. rover as well? I'm going to do that right now. Cool. Uh, do you want me to dig up this floor and convey her down? Uh, yeah. Just down the middle is fine. Yep. Ah, power's not critical. Fine. It's totally only at two. Hmm. Hang the launch button, pull my finger. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> Harvey Dent Maker. Alright, uh, ripping up floor. Um. Yes. I'm just thinking which ship I could quickly use as a platform. Ah. The grinding ship does not have enough precision for what I want it to do. Oh. <laughs> Stupidly enough, I know of one ship that might be able to help with what I'm trying to do. What are you trying to do? Trying to get up the front, but I guess I can just build scaffolding. Although if one of these situations appears again, I'm making a... Uh... A proper platform? Oh, yeah. No, uh, Splitsy's head is too slippery. There we go. Oh, thanks. Bail line placed. I will weld it up. Hydrogen booger flinger. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, I did not weld up that last part. That's going to be really difficult for Shadow to weld up. Especially because I just jumped down as well. Okay, so we have a conveyor port to the front with a connector. We have all the things piped up. Now I just need Wait. to... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a weird thing just to make my life a bit simpler. It's beautiful. Have you just made this, Rudolph? Yes. <laughs> what a callback. Stupid, but it'll work. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one arm launching sleigh. <laughs> I mean, we could just call the catapult Santa. Uh, and Would I don't want to presents? think about what we're going to call our ammo. Well, I guess presents would work. Uh, okay, so, build planner. The blocks that are part of this thing are a hydrogen tank, a merge block, and a connector. Is it bad that I kind of want to give this thing horns? And like, flames as well. Why, why wouldn't this let me put things into production? Does this need power? Oh! oh uh. I'll do it this way. Hydrogen tank. Merge block. Connector. Is 
I want to work. I wanted to know how much material was required for each launch, and I figured this was my easiest way of doing it. Krampus. <laughs> yeah, it could be Krampus. Yeah. All right. Uh, was that is all the blocks that are on there, right? Connector, hydrogen tank, merge block. Yeah. Uh, cool. So. And a control panel, but I'm not sure if that is. Ah, uh, that's not required. No, thankfully. We got steel, yep. plate, 242. Large steel tube. 46. Small steel tube. 72. Computer. 30. Construction component, 95, motor, 10. So, now I can do some simple... Let's put in 10 times that, and I can do 10 launches. Or setting up his inventory to load up the cargo containers. Sounds logical. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, Sorry about the flashing, everyone. So, computers. Let's go for 20 rounds of ammunition per, ca per container. So that will be... Computers, we start with 30, so that'll be 600. Construction components, 95. So that'll be 1,900. Um, large steel tube will be 920 motors will be 200 uh, small steel tubes will be 1440 and steel plate will be 4840 I think I've got that right. One would hope. Well, I was multiplying numbers by 20, so it's entirely possible I messed it up. Got about 60 shots in the hydrogen tanks once we've filled them. Okay. So, 40 shots worth of cargo is probably not too far off. Stockpile on the tanks. I don't need any displays, computers, or construction components beyond what I've measured, because I don't actually need any of the other... I don't need anything else on this. This thing here doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Thanks, Kithma. Thank you for 15 months. I make the same mistake over and over like 15 times. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Kaneda, we mm. don't really have a good option for arranging munition because... I can't be bothered going to the lengths of um, setting up something to figure out the mass of the hydrogen tank full of hydrogen. With our particular heavy hydrogen mod. Yeah. You know what? I'm tempted to call... I do like the near miss, but I'm also tempted now to call this catapult a practice shot. That was a practice shot. Doesn't count. That was a practice shot. Doesn't count. 
Practice shot, doesn't count. Yeah, sure. Either that or the mulligan. Mulligan. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> First try. <laughs> uh, have you got any lights at the front of this shadow? Not yet. No, not yet. First adding for some very important detail work. Why are you turning this into a Pokemon? Because I can. I see. 360 no scope. Almost ready, I think. Yep, just gonna add some lights to this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna upset people by not placing the gyros all the same way. One of the few things I actually don't get upset by. So you're good from my end. I was trying to place it the right way, and then I was just like, ah, oh, I can't be bothered. I mean, uh, you end up placing one wrong anyway. Bound to happen. Shadow is making it into a Pokemon. It should be called the Bramp Rant so it can repeat its own name when Shadow puts a sound block on it. <laughs> oh dear. A Bombardier. Oh. Well, it is a Bombardier. I like that one. Um, so, my release angle before was... Minus, what did I set it to? Minus 40? And I want to go higher for future launches so we can be closer. Because ideally what I'd like to do is launch from about 3 kilometers away. I want to be relatively close to the enemy position so that, you know, the spread is less. <laughs> I don't want to be launching mm -hmm. and hitting at 8 kilometers. I want to be even a lot closer. So if I want to do that... Oh dear. The flat you lance. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Don't launch it into orbit. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that uh, I might launch something into orbit if I go high. But we'll find out. is having a day off today. Yeah, it's missing random stuff for me too. Actually, we don't need that right. About as functional as I am today, apparently. And get the job done, but it takes a while. Anyway, we have spotlights at the front. Whoa. Nice. Do you want some undercarriage lights as well? Um, if, if you bling, want bling. to, yeah. I uh, don't uh, have strong opinions either way. Oh. But we are pretty ready to go. I'm kind of keen to wait a little bit to do the driving away thing. Uh, just for fear that I'll crash this thing. In the night time. Thank you so much, Corbin. Thank you for the 2,000 bits. Thank you very, very much. Oh, whoa. oh, sorry. Uh, that is probably a valid point. I probably don't need the ramp that I left in there. But it's there, and it's staying. <laughs> because I've welded it up. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Fill in the gap on this side. Searchlight aiming at friendly large grid. Um... I don't... It's not going to be fast enough. No. Nowhere near. The grid is likely to be within range of the searchlight for no more than about three seconds. Energy low. Alright, that'll do. That's enough of that. Now I need to set up some controls and things so that everything's good to go. So, launch controls, I'll put on two. Launch controls will involve me needing to find the names of connectors that I haven't made. It's so musical. It is. Right, catapult, merge block, and catapult connector. Catapult connector. Switch lock. Catapult merge block. No, I don't need to control for that. Don't want to even touch that. Uh, I want just these. Reverse. That's all I need. I switch off the connector, I launch. I reverse, I switch the connector to lock, wait for it all to be welded up and wait for the tank to fill, and I launch again. Ooh. Okay, so we don't quite have full tanks on the um, near miss yet. Right, 40 and... 47 and 70% on two of the tanks. I presume the drone is still running back and forth, or do you reckon it's run out of fuel at the other end now? It might have run out of fuel. Although it's here. Yeah. So we must be having power issues. Oh, because there's no power to the. Or there's no hydrogen for the engines. They're all off. Or something else that might have happened. It might have gotten damaged somehow. Oh no, the hydrogen engines mm. are off. Uh, how are our base batteries looking? Oh, they've got power. Thank you, Spectre Grim. Yeah. Thank you so much for the five gift subs. Will the vehicle move during mm. launch? Do you need a landing gear? Um, I hope. We don't need a landing gear. <laughs> I really want to try so it without high -pitched, one. I get worried. I, I want to try it without a landing gear. It's got, I mean, it's got eight gyroscopes on it, so that should help. Yeah, I hope. What's wrong with hope? Fine, I'll give it another four gyroscopes. Ah, so the merge block is switched off during the launch process. Or oh, that's there's a um, event controller switching it off. So that's why I don't want to contr control that manually. That is automated because it is much better. Th that does the timing than I try to. Uh... What's wrong? No, uh, it says it's filling up hydrogen, which it should not be doing at this connector. Oh. Yeah, that's not helpful. No, I don't need to re-enable after launch. It does that automatically as well. On the way up, it disable. It turns it off. And on the way back down, it turns it back on. How did I get up here before? Huh. Oh, 
Taro override for the launch. Maybe? I mean, it does make sense to lock it to the ground, I suppose. But I'm just trying to think how I'd like to do that. I think a piston pushing down a landing gear is probably the better way to go. Because any other way I do it... Like, if I lower the wheels down, then I can't use the suspension to try and level me off. Convert <laughs> to static grid before launch. Um... Hmm. That feels a bit too avoiding the engineering rather than doing the engineering for me. Whoa. Uh oh. Help. I mean kidnap. Help. <laughs> uh, is there anything I can actually do? No, it's fine. I'm just quickly going to do some troubleshooting as it flies over to the ice lake base. Apparently I can't reach this. Oh yeah, that'll reach comfortably. Okay, we have a locking mechanism. Yay! With three or four landing gears on pistons, you could level yourself easier. Yes, you could level yourself by doing that. However, there is an issue with that for this particular use case and because I didn't so if I was able to level myself properly uh, it would have made a lot of sense for me to build the whole launching mechanism on a rotor so that I could do aiming after locking down but if I have to do a whole complex locking sequence just to get locked to the ground and then unlock myself because I'm slightly angled wrong that's going to be really annoying I'll put a rotor uh. on the landing gear <laughs> so that I spin myself from that end. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea if we do need to make like very slight adjustments. All right, we need a, we need something more towards the center of mass then as the locking point. Okay, we're putting up hydrogen. No. Game, you're really going to stop at 99%. <laughs> Is it saying 99% on build vision or in the control panel? 99.1% in the tanks, so yeah. on the hotbar. Outpost tanks is empty and the rest is also... Wait. Yeah, the rest is empty. Okay. So this is the last bit of hydrogen we're going to get for now, so... Until we do some manual just... mining on the ice? Yeah. I'm just okay. gonna tell the drone to go home, so... Go home, drone! No one wants you here! What? Rude. Isn't that what you were saying? What did this drone do to you? I thought that's what you were saying to the drone. No! Oh. I'm just telling it to take a break. Oh. Go home, drone. Your Rude. work is done. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Also, I got the extra yes, step. I am using Pam for my autopilot. I do not trust the AI blocks with an explosive bomb. What about an unexplosive bomb? Then you didn't do your bomb right. <laughs> this is going to be quite close to the ground. That makes me uncomfortable. I think it'll still be okay, though. It's relatively flat terrain. Well, yeah, actually... It'll be okay. I've got 5x5s for clearance, so... Uh, 
I should be okay. Alright, small adjustments will be able to be made. Uh, displacement. Minimal. I'm almost home. So, under normal circumstances, what under ideal circumstances, what you would probably have is this rotor underneath the launching arm so that any adjustments in angle aren't weirdly applied to the launching arm. However, because I don't think the rotor is going to be strong enough to spin an uneven load where there's less at the front than there is at the back, I think we're better having it over where I think the rough center of mass is probably going to be so that the rotor can actually spin the whole thing. Good call. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sirius, if you're going to play Ares at War, I'd just add the no lightning damage mod as opposed to disabling weather altogether. If you're already playing this modded, you may as well add a mod to fix the mods. To fix the vanilla behavior that's terrible. Um, Wheel. Five. Some way oh. to get on board once detached. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea either. Robin, thank you so much for the five gift subs. I need a chair. Yeah, and we need ladders. Yeah. Usually a good one as well. Uh, Bob Bobbington, the thing that is broken about the lightning is that it gives... It's not random if it hits you. It's a random typing time until it hits you. That's bad design. Two, it's bad design because it doesn't give new players any idea why their stuff just exploded. It just explodes. As demonstrated by a post on Reddit recently by someone who's played a lot of creative mode of Space Engineers, according to their post, but still had no idea why their base kept getting destroyed when they'd go away from it. Any mechanism in a game that is that badly broken should just be removed. It's only a couple of lines of code they've got to change to turn off the damage from it. And it would make the game a far better experience for new and old players alike. That's why I think King should get rid of it. Lightning was a very poorly implemented and thought out feature. Yeah, if you happen to be looking in the wrong direction when it happens, you have no idea what just happened. There's no information communicated to the player at all. That's just bad game design. Do I need that bottom ladder? Can we reach the other one? Yeah, I reached the other one. Oh, you can. Oh, right. Uh, it'll be lower when you get down here. Like, once we disconnect. Oh, yeah, no, actually, that's perfectly fine. I can still reach it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm never going to be able to hold up that block using my character. 
Yeah, I wouldn't worry oh, about well. it. Uh, I think we're ready to disconnect. Because we've got all the hydrogen we can get. Um, Alright. Disconnecting time. I'm just gonna sit on my flying thing just in case, because <laughs> I have experience in single player that when converting a static grid into a non-static grid, it sometimes disconnects every connector. Ah. That that happened when I had a large grid scouting ship parked on top of my mobile base and I had to convert it into a non-static and then suddenly my large grid ship was, well, non-existent. No <laughs> A little bit damaged. Like it got hungry and had to take a bite. And I. One thing I will also add is I think it's completely disingenuous for experienced players to say, no, you need to leave Lightning in for a challenge. It's not a challenge. It's no challenge. It's broken. A challenge is something you can beat, Lightning is not. And it's not even an engineering challenge to build decoys so that they constantly get destroyed by it. Or at least not a remotely fun one. It's just a resource sink which is completely unnecessary. Yeah. Because that's also not how it works in real life. Like, we don't build decoys for lightning. Only for them to get destroyed. Like, we, um, we like, do have lightning rods. Just like meteors, which they used to have and they decided to turn off default because they were terrible. They should get rid of lightning the same and allow it to be an option for people who, for some reason, feel that that makes the game better, even though it, I would argue, almost objectively does not. I feel like those people are also the ones that aggressively PvP in public servers. <laughs> well, I'm not going to typecast like that, but... I, I'm just saying! <laughs> <laughs> And, and the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I want Space Engineers to be successful. I want new players to have a great experience when they join us in this game that we all find so fun. I And that's, that's where the passion for this comes from. I just want people to be able to have fun and I don't want the game to chase even more people away. Yeah. The problem this game does have from what I've seen with friends who try to get into into this game is that it seems very daunting and it seems very complex but yeah. it's not that bad as soon as you get the basics anyway enough of the rants because yeah. we're gonna launch some catapults well Let's hopefully not go. launching the catapult hopefully launching the munitions <laughs> same thing uh oh and worst comes to worst we can launch this thing itself it does have some explosives Okay. Uh, did you label oh, the front dear. connector? I did not. Can I do it from here? Yes, I can. Uh, fun music? Sure. There we go. You make me nervous every time you say that. <laughs> I know, that's the point. moving away from the base. Yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, I see the wheels turning, but we're not moving. We're also not moving fast at all. No. I mean, this thing is heavy. How heavy is it? Oh, 1.29 kilotons. Might have made the suspensions too strong. Yeah, I was going to suggest lowering the strength a little. And... Also, you have to break some? No, I just turned them on. Oh. Which direction are we heading? Uh... GPS for this. Go this way. Oh, yeah, turn around. I need to turn off steering on those rear wheels, too. Oh, help! Speed! <laughs> oh, wait. Two. Uh... Yeah. 
Am I helping? I don't know. Uh, I don't no. think I am. No, you're very much not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried. Yay! Speed! What is... I mean, it's been a while since I used 5x5 five five wheels, but I don't remember them being this bad. Oh, is that a Mr. Bones I see? Hello! Been a while. Weird. They're being really, really ineffective. Uh, no, the wheel is uh, free spinning. It's not running backwards, it's free spinning. And did you just go forward instead of turning in and move? Uh, I was trying to go forward and it still wasn't doing much. Uh, it's a little bit better now that I've softened the suspension a bit more. I think we still don't have much contact with some of the wheels. Yeah, you are having some, uh, some issues. Ooh. Gee, that landing gear is now very close to the ground. So you turned off the lights? Yeah, that was an accident. Rude. <laughs> we might need thrusters. This is not effective. Oh, I knew I should have gone for three by threes. Oh. I was like, no, I'm going to go five by fives. We'll totally do this. It'll be fine. This thing isn't going to be that heavy. <laughs> uh. I mean, to be fair, you did grab most of the components inside the base. I know. Uh, this aim thing is not going to work. I'm just going to cut it off. It's just going to get in the way. Driving there. I think the part that I again forgot here that I should have remembered was the, uh, the mass of the hydrogen. Yeah. I have an idea though, Shadow. If you're happy to help oh, me hold was... it up. Oh, I'm right here. Being you in the spotlights. Oh. Wait, does that actually properly follow the shape of the hydrogen tank? Pretty close. I'll grab my welder ship and help the process. And hope we don't collide with each other. Uh, don't worry, I'll take the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, close. Uh, yeah, we need more motors. Yep. Do we have auto material for motors? Okay. Also, um, <laughs> I'd just like to say, your ice mining rig is capable of mining iron now. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it is true. <laughs> uh, are you going to do the building? Apparently so. Uh, apparently we don't have the stuff to make motors, because I didn't pick any up. Or I was too impatient and left too soon. Uh, 
What? Yeah, we're out of nickel. Oh. Uh. Do we do it? <laughs> do we go do a manual mining run before we go and take our catapult out? I think we might have to. Yeah. Which also means that you might be missing some material as well. Oh, true. Very true. So if you get your rover hooked up to the base, yep. I'll go and mine some nickel. Okay. This is going to take me about three years. I'm counting on it because I'm not that fast. Oh, hang on. I should also mine some more stone with the ice mining rig. As a matter of fact, I need you to go and connect to the base so I can get a bit of hydrogen. Oh, you don't have any fuel at all. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, hang on. I have an idea. Build a catapult to launch the launching vehicle. Yeah. Wait, I didn't need to be up there. Yeah, I can move now. Good for you. I'm taking the welding ship over to get some nickel because we don't have a proper <laughs> material cargo ship. <laughs> See, welders are multifunctional. Sure. When you need them to be. Well, this is officially the biggest catapult that I've made mobile. Nice. I, wait, well, hmm. nice as in always good to make a prototype, I suppose. And that's on heist as in it might fail. Oh no, well I mean we know Into that it can launch. Consequences. We know well, that it can launch the it might launch itself. It's clearly too heavy for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that were believable. Okay. Uh, Ow, dang it, I landed on grid, so I hurt myself when I jumped off the rover. Ouch. Alright, this looks like it should be a pretty easy connection. Oh no, wait, we don't have any motors. <sighs> Can't make the stuff. I'm working on it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I wasn't <laughs> criticizing you. I, I know, was thinking I that I should do something because I can do something about getting us some nickel too. You can. Yep. The ice rig can drill more than ice. Ah. Mine iron. Wait. And stone. Ooh. We should get more materials again. There's probably some it motors in so the barbecue weird, pit. That is hand. probably true. Uh, but how else are we going to toast our marshmallows? Oh. Okay, how is this going? Oh yeah, we're getting a decent amount of nickel accumulating. Cool. Not as much as Shadow is going to collect with hand mining though, which is absolutely the case when it's dealing with the, the restrictions that Aries of War places on you. Yep. I'm just glad I have an elite hand drill with me. It's a good thing I spent all that time on the other mining rig. Shh. I know. 
I know, Yosh, but come on. The other mining rig was stupid cool. As no, in, it was cursed. so stupid it was cool. Did you say no, it was cursed? How rude. Is it not? No. It's stupid, but works. Even if it is slow. Then it's not and stupid, relatively right? Relatively inefficient. Uh, I'd rather not give an honest opinion here. <laughs> I'm deeply not even remotely offended. <laughs> Oh, almost got it all before it landed. Oh, I know something else you can do. What? If if you get done earlier, then uh, make it back. Maybe do a little bit of ice mining. Oh, I fly over to the other thing and do some. Mm -hmm. I guess I can probably do that. Depends how many um, times I have to move back and forth to get this thing to actually connect. <laughs> so I'm just slightly off. I'll also get the, uh, the regular ice, the old ice drill here to do some more stone while I'm at it. see how much nickel do I have right now I think the location where I built About this was 30. also needing to push a lot a long way uphill because driving now feels a lot easier than it did before I go locked to the base nice that was actually really easy Probably recover all the components you need just by removing the old drill rig. Never! Never will I ever. Did you check the to do list at the start of the stream today? I made the to do list at the start of the stream today. Oh, was that today? I thought that was there from last week. Right. Nope. That makes ah! uh. sense. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just in a hole, and I've got to get out. Now I gotta climb the stairs again, and then walk all the way over the drill rig again. And then I'll fly my way over and I'll mine some whole truckload of ice. All right, we're going to get heaps of iron because I'm also mining the iron deposit with this. Oh no, we already have too much. Yep. Oh goodness. I'm getting tired of hand mining. Yeah, I think you should probably come back. <laughs> Let me just quickly get the stuff out of the cockpit. Like the drills are still working okay, so I can go deeper still. You no, 
Nope, I can't. It's colliding. Let's go up a little bit just to keep the clearance. Cool. Ooh. Oh, the ladder was hitting. That's what was hitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Down you go. Coming in halt. Oh, actually, no, it's not really liking this. I'm sort of bouncing off one of the bits. Either way, I think we got enough resources from that and from what Shadow's about to drop off. Uh, Collector, when you've had wheels lock up, it's often due, in my experience, to higher latency. <laughs> means more lockups. What the heck is happening to you? I have no idea, but my hand this is, is absolutely adorable. This is what Shadow's seeing right now. Oh no, um, I'm just looking to the left, but that cat is amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's adorable. Uh, wheels uh, are not square. Wheels are spheres. The primitive for a wheel is a sphere. Uh, which is why you can run up the side of a small grid 5x5. Five five. I need to know. Yep, the cat is on the other hand as well. <laughs> oh. oh, he made you do the pose too. Yeah. Tip six chose both of us. Ah. From what I understand, he made that the basic pose for when you sit on a seat. Or seat, the uh, couch. Or any of the... Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's see, motors, 200. Do I have 200 inside these cargo containers? Yep. Looks like we do have all the components on board, Shadow. Oh. Um, Just had to make sure. I didn't get around to mining any ice, but it is daytime, so shall we go anyway? Sure. See how we do? No. Collector, the placement box for wheels is a square. The collision uh. for a wheel is a sphere. Uh. Have we finished welding the thruster? No, we both forgot. I thought you did. I, I forgot. Right. I'm running to my welder ship to fix that. Don't bother, I already did. What? <laughs> How so? There was a cargo container right next to it and I could jump to it. Oh, but... Did... Oh, I suppose... We're if... connected to the base, right? Yeah, as long as there's enough, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> that was the dumbest jump I did. Also, if you're having trouble with uh, wheels colliding, make sure you're not using the short suspensions because the short suspensions get stuck a lot more easily. Alright, uh, I'm going to disconnect from the base. I don't know if the insert sofa has that animation actually, but I'm kind of curious to see. that we have a forwards direction, right? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing... Oh, I have a large turning circle and a really awkward camera because of the subgrid. 
Uh huh. But see how much easier it moves right now? I think we were heading up quite a steep hill to begin with, and something else was going on that was weird. Yeah, I can, yeah, but I can it's drive not quite a bad thing here. to have the thrusters anyway. Yeah. Because if we're having trouble with that hill, then imagine trying to escape another yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. And yes, they are 5x5 five five wheels. Uh, if you put the cockpit up a block, would it make the camera better? Um, it might? I'm not sure. Uh, the rear wheels, it's heavier at the rear, this thing, so the rear wheels are always in contact. I've got the rear suspension set stronger than the front to try and improve that as well. Oh, Shadow, do you want to scout and tell me which way I should be driving? Ah, uh, like the good old times. Yeah. Your thing? Except this time, the thing I'm driving oh. is a lot bigger and uh, has fewer subgrids somehow. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Oh. Yeah, he's, this is the worst time to hydrate. <laughs> But always good to hydrate. Which direction should I be going? Am I going the right way? Like, is this a sensible direction? Uh, to yeah, actually. And then if we go left here. Yep. It seems relatively smooth. Just a few bumps here, but I'm not sure if that's oxal or just weird texture. There's a thing here. Well, we have been flinging stuff this way. <laughs> yeah. Wait, something survived. And was it our seat from what? last time? Shadow, you're supposed to be guiding me. I know. I, you know, I get distracted. I go left or right of this um... hole in front of me. Uh, right. And then this should be relatively smooth here. Thanks, William Reed. Well, what the heck is going on with my voice today? <laughs> Thanks, Will. Oh, team, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for 27 months. Have you started seeing the base location yet? Where you are ahead? Mm, not, sure. not yet. I'll go right now. Although this drain feels unfamiliar. It does, doesn't it? I think we're going the wrong way. We need to head no, more the shoot north. here is definitely here. Okay. We did often fly yep, at night. Here it is. Okay, so I... It is um, to the north-northwest. Uh, is this going to be a reasonable angle for me to fire from? Like, is the ground uh, there fairly flat where you're hovering? Because uh, I guess the, the ground, ground being flat is, is the main flat. thing. Because if the ground's the problem flat... Is that hmm? There's a hill between here and... Uh... Yeah, but remember, I'm launching high. Yeah, true. Whoa. Whoop. I have no right to be here, I'm sorry. Four point three Ks. Alright, I'll keep closing until I'm happy that I'm on a relatively flat bit of ground. Yep. Oh, this is gonna be an odd angle though. Why is that? Because we're we're firing over a hill into a Oh, crater. Yeah. At a small base. Yep. 
But I think this is about the best angle. Not flat here. I think I'll probably stop about where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's starting to slope up and that's going to impact my aim significantly. Mm -hmm. And 3.24Ks is not too bad. All right. Yep. I'm getting in position. Uh, do, 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 event controller. Angle threshold. Oh. <laughs> I we'll yeah, I don't know if we're going to pull this one 60. off. You need to go really high if you want well, to hit this thing. I'm going to set a spectator cam up so that I can see something. Oh. Uh, but it's going to be pretty zoomed out. So any close... Mm -hmm range stuff will have to come from you. Yeah, they don't like me getting close. Well, yeah, that's what your camera's for. Yeah. Or is it doing that weird thing where it pushes you out of it? No, I... I'm gonna need to be in, at an odd angle to give you directions. Oh, right, you were trying to be aligned with me so you could give me yeah. easier markings. Yeah, that's gonna be challenging. Alright, I'm I'll try to brain around it. The connector. I am going back to the event controller because it's not actually set up correctly. Motor block off. Motor block on. Now it's set up correctly. I should have made a camera drone. That way I could have actually gotten in close if needed to be a thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, alright. Manage prediction. Start prediction. Okay, I will be will about we... opposite from you. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Will we hit the base before we run out of materials? But I do have an angle at the base right now. <laughs> I see a little bit of the rocket! Oh! I had to truncate well, what I was writing. The problem with that, Corbin, is that we would need to add an antenna to the payload as well, alongside power. Oh, that adds extra mass and extra expense and yeah, yeah we're trying okay. to avoid it. I am in position. Okay. Um, I guess it's time to launch in three, two, one. Logic. What are the chances you accidentally hit me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's launched. I don't know where it's gone. I don't see it. Um. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let me just check the trash cleanups off. <laughs> yep, it's off. So, um, about that hydrogen, right? <laughs> Did we ever get insurance for it, or...? Why is my spectator cam not moving around as I click on different things? Uh, what is going on there? I don't even know what happened then. I don't know where it went. Uh, do you want me to attempt a spectator cam on the payload? I mean, you can see if you can find it. Oh, the merge block didn't turn itself back on. Oh, no, it doesn't. It turns off when it's up oh. here. I think I just launched whatever I just half welded. Whoops. And it's...
I don't even know where you oh there you are. So I love how you weld it up when you're holding it high. Yeah, I've tried to weld it up when I was at the bottom, but it doesn't work. Uh, I think if I changed my hinge range to 80, minus 89, it'd probably work, just to give myself that little bit of clearance. I wonder if you launched it into space. Whoa. Although 89 appears to not bring the connectors close enough to lock. Yeah, I have no idea where that went at all. Also, did you name the thing? Well, it's a it's a fresh grid because it's a merge block. I meant your um, catapult. Uh, the grid itself? No, I haven't yet. Now I have. enabling creative mode and seeing if that helps me find I mean it's probably destroyed whatever it was like wherever it went it's, it'd be gone yeah there's also a bunch of things floating no something very yeah. strange is happening with me trying to look at grids because it's just like moving my camera once and then not moving it again It is very hard to see the craters because sometimes it looks like it's a crater, but no, it's just a naturally generated crater. Yeah. I'm going to launch it slower, Shadow. Do you want to come back and watch and we'll try again? Yep. Yep. I'm ready. I've halved the rotational speed. See if you can follow it. Just follow in spectator the whole way if you want. Yep. Uh, launching in three, two, one. Launch. Oh. Okay, that definitely didn't go over. It hasn't gone very far so far. That's gone very high. Yeah, it's intended to go high. <laughs> and exactly in the wrong crater! Bam! Boom! Okay. <laughs> you want to know something funny? What's that? I don't think you did any voxel damage. That's surprising. Either it's not loading in for me or it didn't do any damage. Okay, so we need probably significantly more speed than that. You were about halfway. About halfway. Still want to go nice and high like that, though, don't we? Yeah. Okay, let's try another launch. You ready? Yep. In three, two, one. Launching. It is very concerning because I just see it falling onto your rover. Yeah, it does weird stuff with the lag at the start, doesn't it? Oh, it leaves atmosphere. It's still going. It's still going. I think I've overshot it by a considerable margin. It is spinning very nicely. <laughs> well... What do you mean I'm entering restricted airspace? Yeah, weird. So I've overshot by several kilometers this time. <laughs> overshot by 1.6 Ks. All right, let's try that again. This is this is going all right. This is fun to watch. <laughs> I, I'm I'm amazed at this working even remotely. I was doing this because it was fun, not because I thought it'd work. 
Mm-hmm. I'll drop to minus 20 RPM this time. Next up. Also, I gotta say, I, I do like the horns on the thing. It does add something. Oh, Makes I don't think the munitions right. have had fuel in them. So this one's this next one's going to be heavier. I'm not sure it's going to make a difference, but we're about to find out. Because I forgot to turn off so stockpile on the big tanks. So that's why there was no big crater. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Okay, unlocked. You ready for the launch? Yep. Three, two, one. Launching. Wee. Uh. What? Did you lose it? No, I I have it. It's just that um. Hmm. Ah. No. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's super close. Come uh, on. Come on. Oh. 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 <laughs> but that was really close, though. Yeah. Dang. So close. Okay. Just a little overshot. I think, yep. I think that means I should probably go back to my camera camera. Now that we know <laughs> that we're hitting. Yep. Oh, I can't believe this. And how stable this thing is at launch is awesome. So we'll go minus... Let's go minus 19. So we'll lose one RPM. Lock the tank. Uh, is there any way... Is there anything I can do on my HUD that's going to show when this is full? Um... Oh yeah, stockpile on and off. You could create a group as well. Oh yeah, if I make it a group, it, I'll be able to keep it on my hotbar, won't I? Yeah. <laughs> I love that we're doing this. Uh, so do I. <laughs> it's the best. Alright, you ready? Yep. Three, two... One. Launch. I'm just gonna see a package up here. Uh-oh. I've completely lost track of where anything was. I have lost track of the package. <laughs> My spectator cam was in the wrong place to begin with. Oh. I'm tracking the package. I have in it in my sights. It is really, really hard to get my camera aligned to it. I think I've actually done it this time. I don't Incoming. see Incoming. It it's almost in range. It's going to fall short. Almost. Oh! oh! Did you see that? <laughs> oh, I, okay. That. I have good news, bad news. Good news. I see the explosion. Bad news. I don't see the package. <laughs> okay. Less helpful. Oh, man. Okay, I think I should be able to hit a building if I dial it into half of the difference that I just had. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe we're going medieval on them and it's working. Probably. Well, we're not yet throwing sticks and stones at them. Yeah, but we are lobbing things with a catapult. Very explosive things, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what am I doing? And with Rover, it doesn't look too bad. I'd like the star of it. Aiming left to right will be annoying, though. Uh, a little bit, but not too bad, because the wheels are actually moving pretty well. But yes, I'll need to make very fine adjustments to hit left to right. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Six and so on are indeed more primitive than medieval, but still. Oh, no, the blueprint doesn't have the the tank in the group, so it doesn't work to see whether it's full. Uh, 
Right. Um, another thing you could do is just place the tanks on the rover, and then when they stop draining, the other tank is full. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, the difference is going to be so small, I'm not sure it'll be visible. But I'll try. Oh. Well, it may it may still be enough, to be obvious. I mean, I think it is rounded to a percentage instead of a decimal. I mean, if I fill... Oh, wait, I know how to do this. Wait. <laughs> That's actually a good point. Are we just playing medieval engineers right now? <laughs> As it should have been, with enemies. Ooh... Well, I don't think that's harsh to say. I think it would have made Medieval Engineers an amazing game. All right. Yeah. I'm ready for another launch. Are you ready to watch? Yep. All right. Launching in three, two, one, <laughs> launch. <laughs> Perfect timing for fun music. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Dang it. Emma is fighting me. Stop fighting back. Thank you. Incoming. 1.6 Ks out. One kilometer out. Zooming in. Oh, oh. Zooming back 500. In. We're overshooting. Streaming. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I show high streets. Okay, need slightly less. Also, okay, Darks, I think the problem with two. that would be the event controller cannot focus a block that continuously gets welded anew. So it would have to be the group anyway. I, I don't think I want Wait. to auto launch <laughs> either. That seems prone to issues. Well, you could use the event controller to turn on a light in the cockpit whenever a tank is ready. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be... Auto-launch. Auto-rapid-firing, those things would be amazing. Yeah, if, I mean, the beauty of this catapult is that if we then have some future combat, instead of launching bombs, this can launch decoys, which we then can have auto relaunch. So it's constantly flinging in a stream of decoys, while the while we then go in our combat vehicles. So what you're saying is that you want to bring this thing along to space. Uh, not necessarily has to be this thing. We can rebuild it. Oh. But yes, we want to bring this thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Refilling has stopped. Launching in three. Wait, no. I need to bring my spectator cam back so I can actually see stuff, because I can't see anything. I don't. <laughs> Feel free oh. to use spectator if you'd prefer to, Shadow. Yeah, I probably should just follow along with uh, yeah. missiles as well. So you're saying it should have been a trailer all along? Maybe. <laughs> oh, jeez. Amount of power we need just to pull that trailer then. <laughs> well, it means the Abominus Prime could go large grid. <laughs> I approve of this. Okay, you ready for launch? Yep. All right, launching in three, two, one, launch. It does seem so graceful, ah. the munition, because it seems to move so slowly, but it's really not. Yeah. It's also very hard to lock onto. <laughs> oh, yeah. It really is. There we go. So what I do is just middle click and then use that relatively similar speed to... Uh... Well, I use the that to then get into the position where I can use the asterisk on my number pad to proper lock. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is looking promising. Oh... Oh, so oh. close! <laughs> I think it actually did do damage, though. It did damage to the turret that was already loose. <laughs> oh, the poor turret. <laughs> oh, this is so close. I think we can do this. Uh, 
Now to find the rover again. Oh, found it. <laughs> yeah. So that was just barely short, so minus 19.25. I think I'd take about 4% of the fuel from a large tank. With the small tank. The four tanks? Ah, uh, from the one tank. 4 of... I okay. feel, so that, it, so that the percentage change is larger, I've put a couple of the tanks on stockpile. So ah, it only pulls now from one tank. Okay. Okay, looks ready. Unlocking. Launching in three, two, one... Launch. Oh, that goes too fast. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Got it. It looks okay. like a pipe Come bomb. Come on. Come on, please. <laughs> Why not just drive forward the distance you were short? Shylock, stop being so sensible. <laughs> because the angle might change, which might it's throw true. in some It's true. The angle may change. Oh. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Again. Again. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh. Yes. I love it. Oh. Yes, we will also, hit before we run out of materials. Woo! Mm -hmm. Oh man, that is satisfying. Again, again, more, more! Yep, I'm just gonna give it a tiny bit more range. Minus 19.26. I don't know if that's within the margin of error of this device. It may well be. Uh-oh. Why isn't the welder welding? Also, I just want to say, that catapult is very accurate. Doesn't really go to the side. Yeah. This is true. Why isn't that welding up? We oh, my battery is fine. I had two hours of flight remaining. One hour now. <laughs> we just ran out of materials on that last launch. <laughs> oh. I don't know how. I don't... Our stuff must have been pulled by something? Uh... Oh, that means... Um, remote reload of materials so we don't have to lose our aim. Yep, sounds like a plan. Yep. Uh... Oh, no, you could... I wonder if something went funky in one of the connectors we launched got all the materials in it or something stupid like that. That sometimes happens. I am out of range. Remember, it gives you the verbal warning first. When you get within 3Ks and then the other warning when you get to 2.5. That was within 3Ks already. Oh. Weird. Um, do we have a, a vehicle that would work as a cargo carrier? Our welding chips. Uh, would you mind giving me a lift back then? So we can bring both. Good idea. Whoop. Oh yeah. Good call. I will mark where the catapult is so I can come back so I can come back here more easily. Do you still have that list? I do. I do indeed. Uh, if there's a sorter in there, then that will block the hydrogen flow, I think. It shouldn't. It shouldn't? never really messed around with that. I really should at some point. 
Look. Okay. Oh, wait. Are you... Uh... Sure, if you trust me... Well, I much. don't have a choice. We have a chair that we can grind down and attach to this. Oh. Well, just fly low. Because I have all my good tools on me. Oh dear. Sorters don't block gas. Okay. So I could put a sorter in there to block it. <laughs> oh. Well. Did you? Um, yeah, I died. Oh, oh jeez. Uh, yeah, I see your body. Um. Do you want to go grab my stuff? Yeah, I guess I should. Um. Although your body did quite the bounce. Is it my body or my bag that you can see? I think it was your body. Uh, could you give me a GPS? Uh, it's alright, I'll fly it's... over and grab it myself with my boulder ship. Okay. Because it is a bit hard to see grey on grey. Uh, uh, Ow! Is critical. Ow! What are you doing? Getting cooked by my welders? Why did you leave your welders on? Because I forgot. And then I had to jump over the front of it, which isn't the normal way because it had tilted forward off the connector before. Basically, I set myself up to this being the required way of getting on board. Oh. You're a true masochist, you are. It would seem so. It would seem so. Suppose I can turn them off now. I don't need them on, I guess. Also, can I have that list if you haven't shared it already? All right, yeah. The list is per one launch. Okay. I got a shopping list. Yes, you did. How many launches do we want to do? Uh, probably as many as we can. Uh, okay. See how much you can fit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is going on? Everything's frozen on my end and I just took off. Took off as in... As in flew up with my ship. But the dampeners are on. Uh, but I think Space Engineers has crashed. Ah. So I guess I'll be rejoining the server in a second. <laughs> Ideally, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that it didn't crash during our catapulting. That would have sucked. Especially on the direct hit. <laughs> okay, um... I can almost bring enough stuff for ten. I'm just lacking the steel tubes. Oh. The large what? ones, so I'm What's turning up the to auto host slash server. Is the server working for you? I don't... Yeah. So stuff's actually moving around on the inventory and stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, Wasted. Yep, looks like I'm good now. Uh, goes really well. My catapult worked. You just missed it. Oh, did someone clip that? Oh, Wasted did I see. have a nice. big bada boom on my one. I think someone must have clipped Ooh. it, but I missed it. New pole can split to hit shadow. I mean, when we're, do you mean when we're flying materials back and forth from the catapult? I mean, we might be able to. You know I can hear you, right? Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Just I'm you not know. gonna try and hit you. I'm thinking it would it could happen even though we're trying not to hit each other. Uh huh. I guess I should fly lower. Because of lower latency. And also I can technically go out of atmosphere for a while. Oh yeah, you can. I can't. <laughs> I built a helm on this thing because I was being uh, facetious when I did it. Also, um, do you by chance have a GPS? <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have forgotten to grab one. Yes, I do. Yes, I do have a GPS. Got a pop. Thank you. You're welcome. How you been, Wasted? Have you been enjoying Enshrouded? I just saw you playing a bit of that the other day. I quite like the mini blocks in it. Although I have been finding it a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, you just got back from your ski week. Oh, you must be feeling... Hopefully nothing broken. Hopefully just feeling good about getting away... Uh, I'll be back in just a sec. Need to take a quick bio break. Uh oh. Um, how does Betsy want me to offload? Because offloading this by hand is going to be a major pain in the backside. Um, hmm. Top port on the helm, not connected to cargo. That is purely a charging port for my other ship. Uh, that's... Great. Yeah, I'm... Probably should add a connector. 200 kilometers on skis in six days. You're broken, but nothing permanent. Uh, good. <laughs> That is a long way on skis, isn't it? I've only done cross-country skiing, so my um, my ability to contemplate those distances is uh, limited. So Shadow, how much did you load up with? Uh, enough for 10. Okay, I'll try and do the same. Was that one large cargo container could fit that? Two of them. Two of them. So I might not be able to fit ten. Chelsea. Structure and I'll just skip the large steel tubes and see if everything else will fit. Steel tube 720. Steel plate. Uh, could you bring enough for a full connector? Oh, do we need another connector? I ground down the one on the front too quickly, add one on a cargo container. Ah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I can probably manage that. Uh, CNK. Just waiting to see when this is finished filling. Three hundred seven twenty. Yep. Wait, no, that's my ocean. Wait, what am I doing? Hidden special. Wait, Wasted. I genuinely hope that I can make it to Europe sometime, and probably realistically it'll be twenty twenty five. 
uh, as Toby will be old enough for me to feel okay for leaving for a little bit. And, yeah. Hopefully I can manage it. Uh, large steel tube. I'm definitely not going to fit 460 of them, so let's try 100. Oh, you're setting up the special. Yeah. Fair enough. Because I figured then I could do a couple of loads, run back and forth. Four kilograms of French cheese in your fridge. Mmm, French cheese. French cheese is good. Okay, I fit exactly a hundred large steel tubes in there. Let's go to the welders now. Whoa, space engineers, calm down! <laughs> Gobbling up all my frames. Me to fly to the UK is usually, I think it's often about 28 hours in transit. Yeah, something around there. Oh no, it's uh, depending on how much you're paying. <laughs> it does go down to about 22 hours. If you go with Qantas, but that might be using their Perth London connection. Which is going to be the most direct way to do it, because then you don't stop as many times. Or you don't stop for as long. Okay, and off I fly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the welder here. I, uh... Oh? We don't have enough cargo for yet another... Uh, thing. Another 10 load. And what? Besides, 20, that should be enough. Oh, cargo enough components, sorry. Oh, you think we don't have enough on the... at base? Mm-hmm. Whoa! That was a launch and a half. So you're bringing your scout thingy back, and I'll park yep. this welder on board, and that can be my way of getting back. So you said you built a second connector? I had to tear my own one down. New series, wrong way up, but only catapults, no rovers. Hmm. Oh, I see where the other one is. Uh. Oh, was you, oh yours yeah. wasn't conveyed, is it? Nope. Although, oh. you do have a welder. Did you by chance weld it up? I guess. I guess this thing can be used for its intended purpose. Yay! Thank you. I am not going to be able to get back up on here, so you're going to have to lift me up here. Oh. <laughs> when you need to leave. <laughs> uh, we shouldn't be short on parts. What I am going to see if I can do, though, is 
There's something I can put on here that will tell me whether it's got any inventory. <laughs> Not really. We'd have to bring extra parts to try and build in a thing. Uh, so the connectors are empty, which means I'm not throwing parts. Let's do the launch. Sounds good. Fuel is loaded. Connector is unlocked. I'm in position. Spectator cam is not quite in position. Spectator cam is now in position. Launching. In three, two, one. Launch. It seems so sedate at the start, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it's so... Peaceful, so... Tranquil? Hmm. So tranquil, launching explosives. Indeed. Just Will we get a second spinning. hit? So there is still a turret on that base that we need to get rid of. And then I have to figure out how to hit the middle bit. Ooh. <laughs> Goodbye, turret! Okay, well, that's one of the bases down. Well done. Yep. <sighs> Looks like an inhaler is being launched. <laughs> <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but are we in line with that other base that's a bit closer than that one, or are we offside, offline from it? Uh, let me quickly check. The one with all the wind turbines that's closer. I think we might have been in line with it. We're offside, just slightly off. Okay. Thank you, chat. I yeah, a little. Okay, so in that event, what I will do is reset the launching arm. Then I will try and adjust by the tiniest amount. Uh, no, we cannot attach the camera to the payload before it launches because it's part of the same grid as the catapult arm and the catapult arm has more blocks so the camera remains attached to the arm, not the thing that it's being launched. What? Uh, so when grids split, the main grid is the grid that has the most blocks. Yeah, but also we'd need an antenna and a battery. No, no, to it's more, a... attach the spectator cam. Oh, oh, that's what... You, okay, never mind. I thought it was the camera. As an actual camera. Okay, I My think bad. I've turned it possibly enough. Possibly too much. We'll see. Yeah. You ready? Because I'm not. I need to get my spectator back. <laughs> and why ask? Because I asked before I thought about whether I was ready. Oh, fair enough. Okay, unlock. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. I love how I suddenly got the dramatic music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably should try and get some music for these. Something that feels suitably epic and weirdly chill. Well, I think my angle's pretty good. Did slightly overcorrect, but it looks like I might just... Oh! oh. <laughs> just missed the center tower. I mean, to be fair, you were very close. Hmm. I 
So I think I'll just keep my spectator cam at the base. The angle where... Uh, Fair enough. You can see the inhaler flying in. <laughs> And with that, I quickly gotta go to the bathroom, but don't let me stop you. Keep going. Okay. All right, I will keep going. Hinges. All right. Minus 19.25. Lock it down. Get it full. There is no way we can roll in and salvage that, those remains core. We have no weapons, and it has weapons. This is our only weapon. We must fire our hydrogen at the enemy. Speaking of, three, two, one, launch. Here it goes. Eh, gimme, give gimme, give lock. I really should look into whether I can change the shortcuts so that the shift middle mouse to lock onto this is the proper locking rather than just the match speed. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I just missed again. That was so close. Also... I'm realizing a mis an issue with um, hitting this middle tower first. It's got the only antenna that's telling us where this thing is. I might want to readjust my aim and try and go back to hitting this tower. So I can see what I'm aiming at. Slight issue. Slight one. Um, okay. That's probably enough. Lock it down. Reduce the distance a bit because it's still going to be too far. Minus 19.2. Let's drop it a bit more. 2.3. Tanks full. Bring spectator camp back. Because I love watching it fall in. And 3, 2, 1, launch. I'm back. Uh, also, oh. about the antenna. Hmm? I wonder what triggers the area as a you're not allowed to go here zone. I'm assuming it's not going to be antenna based. Surely. I mean, it might be. How else do they communicate? How uh, else do they see us? Well, MES allows you to do it without the antenna at all. Yeah, okay, but I was meaning lower I know, I know, I know, I know. But... <laughs> oh, oh, I've overshot, comes. but my angle's not too bad. Ooh. I'm Those honestly were just warning shots, working. right? Hey, Captain Alpha. Oh uh, yeah, AI block. There we go. From from the man himself. <laughs> it is <laughs> not antenna based. Good to know. Also, I think we've run out of materials again. Which makes no sense. No. No, you're kidding. I don't know how that works. Hang on. Do not launch me, please. I... <laughs> it's 40 large steel tubes per small hydrogen tank. So... Yeah, and we've got 46, which I put in the shopping list. Huh? Is that rather just... hungry? I don't understand how we're... Like, this doesn't make any sense. How are we using up all these materials so quickly? There's not enough there. Wait. What? It just did not weld it up. I still had creative mode tools I... enabled, which shouldn't have made a difference because this is a server. I forgot to uncheck that before when I was trying to fix my spectator cam. 
Uh, Shouldn't make a difference. Three In bomb. local hosting, it does. Because if you got... I don't know what's going on. Something's weird. I mean, you do own the welder, so maybe... Maybe it did. But then why is that deleting our components? I say this is fair use. We are just... Uh, compensating ourselves for a bug. Yeah, because... How many launches was that? Three? Four? I Four, carried I enough for ten, and you did as well. Yeah, we carried enough for twenty, and basically they're five times the cost. Yeah. Hang on. Right, empty. Yeah, no, we literally don't have to put... Yeah, there's no parts at all. What? <laughs> what? I... It's bizarre. We were I thinking know, some might be ending up like in the head, connectors but... that's getting launched, but it didn't seem like that. Huh? Yeah. I think I think what we need to do is actually put that sorter into block components going to the to the fuel tank. Which is fairly easy but to they... do with the way I built this. But then the question becomes, why would it export the parts into that conveyor? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense that it should do that at all. Because there's no easy script here running either, so it's not like that's causing it. This is just And also, weird. it's perfectly a hydrogen tank's worth. That doesn't get... <laughs> oh, well... Yeah. We print a full one, and then we print yeah. none of it. Yeah. Something very <gasps> strange is going on. Anyway, you ready to watch the launch? Uh, I should take a seat first. I'm ready. Oh. Oh no, we're, I'll be leaving this right where we are. Um, we'll fly back in the welder and... I'll bring back parts for a sorter this time, and I'll put the sorter in so that nothing can get into the connector except for hydrogen. Alright, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, it's getting dark. That just means the explosions are brighter. I do love that we just have a bit of misalloying here. <laughs> Uh, also, I hope because Captain Arthur's here, he's not thinking of ways to um, stop us from being able to do this. <laughs> I know this is uber cheesy, but... Oh man, I cannot lock on this time. Is this a sufficient challenge to compensate for the fact that yeah. we're doing this? <laughs> I think this. it is. <laughs> oh. oh! Why is my... But it can be weird. Well, that was a hit on the wind turbines. <laughs> so my angle's still not quite right, and I'm still launching too far. <laughs> there we go. Captain Arthur agrees. The challenge is still adequate. Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> uh, would you mind giving me a lift up onto my welder ship so I can take it home and grab parts? Oh, make sure you can get some uppies. <laughs> you cat! What? <laughs> I'm trying to move around you, and then you move exactly in the way. <laughs> you absolute cat! <laughs> Thanks, Will. Thanks for giving Captain Arthur a gift. Um. Okay. Thank I you figured for I was less right likely to fall of off from here. Yeah, by standing on my screen. All right, all my thrusters are turned off. What if we leave the parts inside of the welding ship? I did. Then I don't know. I think let's just, um, let's put in the sorter and see if that fixes it. Thanks, Scrat. Thank you for one year. Thank you very much. I hope so. 
Make it a cluster payload. I mean... It wouldn't be that hard to make it a cluster payload. Splits. Splits. <laughs> what? We're already losing components. Don't think we need to make it a cluster as well. Fair point. Also, I'm loving that we are able to actually hit stuff with accuracy. I think mm -hmm. if I make it a cluster, it will be less accurate. It'll do more damage, but it'll be less accurate. If okay, we end so up... I will be honest. I had zero faith that this was going to work. I know. Just because, like, space engineers, dedicated server, you never know what will happen, and the fact that it's working, it's like... Oh. I know. I know you had no faith in me. <laughs> I'm so tempted to make an elevator here. Just because these stairs are so annoying. Yeah. That is true. Okay, got Do I allow myself on the structure? Has this filled up? Yes, it has. Oh, yeah, I show hydrate. Alright, I'm flying back with the parts. I'll fit the sorter in and hope it does the trick. It's just really annoying launching ten times as... Well, it feels like ten times as much material as we actually were. Yep. Will it be this constant if you have built a whole platform on rotor to aim with it? Uh, probably. I do wonder, though, if we had have done that, whether it would actually be less stable. Just because of the increased subgrid and the heavy mass on a subgrid. Uh, whereas the wheels, given their suspensions, whether they're creating enough of a stable platform to keep things more accurate. Yeah, the welders cap out at 88 tubes, but I don't need them to have 100. Because I needed 460 between the three of them. And with 88 in each, I'm a bit short. No, I needed 360. With 88 in each, I'm a bit over. Because I put 100 in the cargo container. So with 88 in each, I'm a little bit over. So it's perfect. And this is not changing faction reputation, which is why it feels a bit cheesy. But it is so difficult to sight in and so expensive that it required a whole bunch of engineering that both Shadow and I are like, we don't care. <laughs> this is not an optimal way of doing things, but it is fun. Yeah. This is this sort of stuff is why I've gradually made ACS easier. Because I realized once we started, especially once we started playing Assertive Acquisitions and TFE and I were facing off against these enemies, I realized it was more fun with things being slightly easier, but allowing for some bizarre approaches and some suboptimal approaches than it was forcing people to be uber optimized and doing everything perfectly and all that sort of stuff. I do have to say, I do approve of the latest bug fix where the ship doesn't just jump away. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been trying to fix that for ages. Like, TFE's tried a number of different things to make that work. Uh, and it's taken this long for us to figure out something that was consistently effective. Uh, so that, that's been desired for a long time. So like, when I first set up ACS, I made it so that the ships ran away quite quickly from the player. Which seems like, yeah, of course you'd do that. You don't want people to be able to easily catch up to the ship. Actually, you do. You do want people to be able to easily catch up to the ship in a weird way, because otherwise they never capture them. And that's not fun. I'm going to be able to... No. Uh, so yeah, a, a lump, number of the things that have... I've learned a lot from it, and I'm... Really glad that it turned out to be such a good learning experience because that's what I was hoping it would be. A flight. So I'm not always anti cheese. That is how a player wants to play it and let them play that way. Yeah, yeah. And I, like, I gotta give Wasted some credit for my 
thought process around this changing a bit as well because he articulated it so well when talking about um, how frustrated he was with some of the changes that were made in RimWorld. It helped me be able to articulate exactly what I was getting at. Because it's true, you, you don't want to optimize for those people who hyper-optimize anyway. You want to optimize for the people, for the everybody else. <laughs> I think. Yeah. And some days you want to play things by the rules as intended. And then other days you've had a really bad day at work, you've had a really rough time of things, and you just want to play it to win. And if I remove the ability for you to use a cheesy tactic, then I'm removing that ability for you to use that when you've had a bad day and you just need a win. And that makes me a little sad. So ACS does nothing to block you from using cheesy tactics. It encourages you to use non-cheesy tactics because they can be viable. And fun. I am in position. Cool. Uh, we should be good. Um, just thinking, uh, what do I want to check? I want to check the sword. And I will change it to whitelist. Now, the connectors, do they have any components in them? No, they do not. All right. Spectator cam is still in the hole. Let's bring it back. Ready. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I was waking myself up and it looks like I woke you up too. No, it's just that your mic turned very loud for a moment as well. Oh, did it? Oh. Because it wasn't picking up anything, so it was like, oh, I probably need to raise the sound and then suddenly very loud splitsy. <laughs> Don't uh, worry about I, it, it's fine. I adjust? No, I didn't adjust my range for this one. Uh, just going to go straight minus 19.1. I'm going to drop it a fair bit and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Launching. It's a lot harder to spot now that it's dark. I just heard Capac in my head yelling like, No, wait, my tray table's down! <laughs> yes. No sound effects get in my head. Here goes. And confirm, Scrappy Audit is very fun. Thanks. Ooh. Oh, that's way overshot. Ooh. Well, that's unhelpful. Hmm. A spinning light on the payload. They now need a battery. Yeah. And then it makes it heavy and more expensive and more difficult to move the components over because batteries are so big. Maybe it overshot because it wasn't full of components for once. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I do have uh, two shots worth of components inside of my welding ship, so... Okay. Well, in theory, I should have still nine remaining in mine. Yeah, it looks good. We should be alright. Uh... Okay, so. 
Hold on, when a connector with cargo explodes, the cargo should spill out, right? Uh, we're not nearby, so I'm not sure what'll happen with the spectator mm -hmm. cams and whether that'll do something weird. I was 19.1. I think I might go 18.7. Just, you know, roughly guessing. You ready, Shadow? All right, three, two, one, launch. It's just a bunch of stuff sparking and burning over here. It's beautiful. All right, you're just staying over there. You're not following, so I don't probably oh. need to give you so much warning. Yeah, I was wondering about it. I, <laughs> I thought you knew. Uh, you, you, oh, I did Carmark. know, I just forgot. Carmark, you're about to see something wonderful. Yep. We're actually blowing stuff up. That we're yes, trying to we blow. are. Mostly. Sometimes. Maybe this is going to fall short, though. I think this is going to fall short. Yeah. Ah, poop. Okay. Don't need much, but do need more. But, uh, since you weren't here before, I'm guessing Carmok, this is our weapon. This is my weapon. That is a catapult. Man, there are many others yes. like it, but this one is my own. Or something. I can't remember the what the lines are. Minus 18.85. I think that's probably going to be too much, but we'll see. How clangy is it? It's not. <laughs> it's not <laughs> clangy at all. It's beautiful. There That's is no clang. Is. It is perfectly smooth. <laughs> yeah, you did a really good job with this one, Spitz. Thanks. Pretty good job. It slightly irks me that to do a good job I had to do it really simply, but, you know, it is what, what? it is. Why are you calling me a witch? What? I think he's calling me a witch. Wouldn't that make you a wizard? No, a warlock. Oh, fair enough. Alright, uh, you ready? Yep. 3, 2, 1, launch. Just gonna show the catapult as it launches. See? Thanks, Lazarus Bear. Thank you for the prime sub. Here goes. Am I going to hit this time? I sure hope so. Yeah, damage is enabled on that grid, 100%. Yeah. But subgrid We've damage isn't. Two times? At least? Oh, I thought he was talking about the oh. catapult. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That nice. is a hit. That's okay. cold wind turbine, though. Just need to adjust a little bit left, I think. Yeah, normally I would have put a Capmac decoy on there. You're, you're, you're right. Hopefully that's enough to turn. The turn is so, so <laughs> vague. I'm, I'm doing the tiniest adjustments and I have no idea whether I've even adjusted, really. Uh, look at the compass. Yeah, the, the adjustment's pretty small. Well, it's better than looking at the voxels, I'd imagine at least. Maybe. Uh, okay. Looks like we're good. Load it up. Uh, let me just check our inventory. 
And it looks like pieces piece are not disappearing now. Huh. Maybe it was me accidentally leaving creative mode on was destroying components as a punishment. Maybe. Mm. Okay. Uh, you're watching? You're ready? You're happy? Yep. Yep. Go. Uh, as happy as can be. Three, two, We're blowing one. stuff up. Logic. <laughs> Also, it looks like there's a face with sunglasses there, by the way, of the shadow. That's amazing. You ever been tempted to confuse people and say, instead of like that sentence, say, by the shape of the me? Mm -mm. I feel no. like the answer to that is no. <laughs> no. Would this be in the workshop? Um, I suppose I could probably publish it when I eventually remember to publish other things. I think I overcorrected. Oh! I moved the tiniest bit. No. I need to move half a tiniest bit. I need to just move a quark. Okay, that's... I'm maybe sorry, that's what now? Aren't quarks some of the smallest subatomic particles we know of? Or... Yeah, quack. I, 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 yeah, no. To me, I was just making a duck sound. Quack. Quack. <laughs> 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 okay, looks like we're good to go. I am launching in three, two, one, launch. Oh, I am not in line with the thing. I should move that back before I go. Where has the pipe gone? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Found it. You're good at getting lost, but you're also good at finding packages. Hmm. So I'd make half a decent postman. Yeah. Sure. I wouldn't lose a package, but I would lose myself. <laughs> Oh, that hit! Whoa. That has opened up inside of it. Oh man. Still need to adjust a little bit back though. Maybe that's enough? I don't know. I don't know. The package arrived on, arrived on time and Splitzy was never seen again. Yep. That feels fitting. Uh, I'm not convinced rotor adjustment would help here because I, I do think there'd be more jiggle and wiggle because of the extra subgrid. Alright, we're good. Uh, launching. Spot it. There it is. I, I want to look at the sky to see if I can see it, but I'm afraid I'm just gonna miss it. Uh, so there's just an explosion behind it's my at camera. It's Zenith now, or it's Apogee. And he's coming down. 1.4k's out. Oh, there it is. Nope, moved too far. Wait, did I move between the last Ooh. two launches? I think you did. I think I did too. Package has been dispatched through the catapult and will arrive through your wall in approximately 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I'm still so chuffed that this thing even works at all. Rightfully so. Opening the engineering and space engineers. Yep. That's <laughs> that's the best part. Launching in three, two, one, go. Yeah. 
You need skid stirring so you can rotate in place. Yeah. Hmm. Feels like this is going to fall short. Huh. It did? Why did that fall short? Hmm. I don't know. That was indeed odd. Hmm. Hydrogen supply is good. Have you done multiple in a row without making changes to ensure consistency? No, but I've been making tiny adjustments and they seem to adjust in the direction that I'm intending them to. Uh, which I admit uh, is not as accurate, but still. They're also not spinning wildly, so we do, or at least I assume we do have a very reliable line of fire. Also, this appears to not be welding up. Okay. I'm moving on to the... Actually, I can't. Um, but it is bolted up. No, the tank isn't. It's saying it doesn't have large steel tubes, but we have plenty of large steel tubes. Is the welder full? Okay, one uh, moment. Nope. Ooh. Unless... Yeah, you've still got 92 inside your... Oh, your vehicle's not connected anymore. I think your vehicle was the only one that had the... What? That should not happen. You brought enough for 10. Yeah. Hungry, hungry rover. Yeah, it is totally using up more than it should. Anyway, I guess I can do some welding up every now and then with this thing as well. If need I did be. make a few more shots this time, that is true. Uh, would you mind dropping me on my welder and I'll go back and load it up again? Oh, yeah, sure. Why are you always so dangerous? Life, you gotta live it until you don't. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, should I offload my parts in the meantime? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my list does include the connector and the merge block, yeah. Although we may have had 10 launches then, I'm not sure. We may have. Uh, might have been? But what was weird that it, it was the... Oh, right, because Shadow's not connected to a conveyor connector. That's why we weren't able to use Shadow's parts. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It's still weird how it did use all the other parts, but somehow used more large steel tubes? Yeah, and I thought we had extras of them. Is it trying to weld up, consuming the parts, and then realizes it cannot weld it up without refunding the parts? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Does the other merge block get damaged and then repaired? Uh, it's two subgrids interacting, so there shouldn't be any damage applied. As the default behavior in Space Engineers is that subgrids don't damage each other. Oh. It is possible that my calculations were off, but I just plugged the components straight into the, the assembler that I built loose and ran off that. little trivia time between launch and impact is 37.5 seconds huh
Oh yeah, don't worry. Because things are going wrong, it is definitely hashtag blame cafe. What? My Disagree. <laughs> my, well, the fact that I couldn't even get your name out properly. <laughs> also, I knew you were there. I was waiting for the right moment to strike. I know, I thought I'd give you an opening. So, what's going on these days? Uh, I, I have made an effective catapult. You, you did that last days? No, no, this one actually hits things that are meant to hit. Oh. And it can launch up to eight kilometers. I thought the whole point was to disintegrate things at random distances. <laughs> well, that's what Shadow expected the outcome was going to be. And to be fair, I didn't think too much different either. But it's turned out to be a lot more effective than that. Yeah. And we've actually been launching stuff all day. Hmm. Well, I hope you've been using your powers for good and not evil. Exploding stuff is always good, right? Health critical. Ow. My health is yes, but it's it's toxic. how you explode it that makes it good or evil. What indiscriminate bombardment? Uh, we should be all loaded up. I mean, I well, suppose we are doing selective. Discrimination yeah. is bad, therefore indiscriminate bombardment is good, right? <laughs> Mm. Context uh, specific, mm. let's say. Oh, yeah, hydrate. I mean, if you two want to experience it, you could always log in and <laughs> experience being part of the munition. Mm, sounds very tempting. Mm. Mm. All right, Shadow, are you in position for this launch? What am I, a pen yes. gullet? Right. <laughs> Launching in uh. three, two, one, go. I think because the rover is now getting lighter, there's going to be more deviation in the shots. Wait, is that a oh, hydrogen maybe. tank? Yeah. Full of hydrogen. It's a hydrogen bomb. Uh, I don't think that's exactly how that works. It is a bomb made of hydrogen. Is that not how a bomb works? That's not how a hydrogen bomb works. It's how this hydrogen bomb works. It's a well, bomb it's more powerful than with hydrogen. Is. Oh. <laughs> you got one of the supports. I did. Get the rest of them and it'll fall over. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you just got to do the same again from the north, south, and west. Challenge accepted. Uh... Aren't you going through a lot of hydrogen to fill those up? Yep. Yes. Yes, we are. We also set something up for that. Yeah, we oh, did. Oh. That's what's taken the last few weeks. Yeah. Uh, I think it's almost full. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I agree, Bilbo. At this range, the fact that it's within any reasonable distance of hitting something is, imp as I think, impre impressive. Indeed. Uh, okay, and unlock, and launch. Oh, and my camera's in the wrong spot again. Uh oh, where is it? I've lost it. No. <laughs> Wait for it. He's about to find it in three, two, no, one. I've lost it this time. Proper lost oh. it. Oh. Oh, here it is. Need to paint it bright pink. I just need to do the launches during daylight. Oh, here we go. Direct hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. The base yes, on yes, that yes. Bus. Oh, that, you that need poor to put, base, though. You need to put an antenna on them so they see their impending death. Huh. Hope they would have figured it out by now. What a hit. Yep. Definitely repeat fire. 
It's just somebody in there running around saying, why is it raining hydrogen tanks? This wasn't in the weather report. I think I would have just packed up and left by this point. <laughs> I think most people were, probably would have been like, this is this silver isn't worth it. We've got other mines around the place. Yeah. <laughs> Well, TFV, you've got another um, short, another version of your name in chat. Yeah, they're endless. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when people misspell my name as well. The final endless. Yes. Hey, UK Reaper. <laughs> Thanks so much for the 100 bits. Uh, I think it's loaded up now. Unlock and... Launching. I had see missile! Oh, um. I mean, technically, it is a missile because it is being launched. Much like an arrow is a missile. Uh. Okay, here we go. Please hit. Please be in target. Boom! <laughs> Pretty close to the same range. Like, there is a little bit of deviation there for sure. But not too bad. And also keep in mind that these targets aren't very big. No, and they are in a hole as well. Yeah. So it's like if we were in it flat open terrain, I'd be lobbing these just horizontally effectively. So we just have to be in line left to right and don't really need to worry about height, but we've got everything to worry about here. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit of extra distance. So what you're saying is Space Engineers Golf Stream soon. <laughs> we could play, with go play golf with this. Is the building disarmed? No, it is and not. The golf course, it's kilometers long. <laughs> the building had arms? Many. What do you think those wind turbines are for? Powering the arms. Okay, grab a sandwich. Air. Okay, it looks like the tank is finished filling. And... Bringing my spectator back actually easy to bring my spectator back with the um the lights on three two one launch no 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 there we go man it's hard to get that locked sometimes thanks Sega wolf thank you for the prime sub Okay, fair. It is. This is an artillery attack, I guess. Without it being an artillery gun. Oh no, it's overshot! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. It just, took out a wind turbine! Yeah, just clipped the wind turbine. I just want to destroy this building. We're so close to it, I just want to take it out today. <laughs> and the fact the turret's hiding on the far side of it. I don't even know how that one is connected. At least it seems like the welding's working properly this time. Thank you, bad dog. Thank you for 52 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, and Gobbin. Thank you for another 2,000 bits. Madness. Come on. Please work. <laughs> Please hit this diamond. Take out that turret. Ugh. The variation is making this uh, a bit more of a challenge. So I reckon, Shadow, like, no matter how this goes from here, we should be able to um, load this up, like, next time we work on making this fully loaded before we bring it into attack again. Yeah. Alright, three. Although we might need some more thrusters. Huh? If that thing is going to be extremely heavy. Oh, right, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. to 
Dodge cargo is full of components. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, launch. Okay. Thanks, you guy, Reaper. Thank you for the another two hundred bits, and also for being. I think that symbol means tier two sub. Thanks, William. <laughs> Thank you for the five gift subs as well. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh that was so close. Hey, you made a giant hole this time. I think, at least. Oh, I've knocked out the fart leg. <laughs> There's two more to go. <laughs> I like like the five second delay between hearing you say something and then it misses all hits. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's always fun. Like short term spoilers. I feel like I'm not sure if I should be adjusting distances on the hinges. Okay, that looks good. Now it's going to fire backwards. I don't think it's capable of that. It can fire straight up, pretty much. Logic. I mean, I'm, you Ooh, that was to quite the... quickly drive away. I don't think this is going to go very far at all. I think this one might be a bit wrong. There was oh. a lot of kick on the rover then. I don't know. It's actually looking too not too bad. But Thank you have clamped the rover down Thank to the, the ground. As well. What the heck is going on, everyone? Thank you very much. Oh, I think it's rotated me oh. a bit. Oh. <laughs> that was a direct hit. And another leg lost. Has one oh, leg remaining. Thank you for the 200 bits, Beldernick. And thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for the five gift subs as well. Apparently, people like things being exploded by catapults. They also love hype trains, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Reload, you're getting too light. Um, nah. Let's launch until we run out, uh, which is soon, very soon. I mean, it's called a near miss. That's the name of the. That's the name of the catapult. Oh, Johnny! Thank you so much for the resub. And sorry that the notifications aren't working. I'm not sure what's up with that. All right. Thanks, Sangani. Thank you for seven months. Yes, tier 5 hype train, you lunatics. <laughs> Thank you, Perseus, for the 200 bits as well. Sheesh. Okay, just for that, here goes. 3, 2, 1, launching. Oh. Thank you, Kenny Mart. <laughs> I've got too many things. Thank you for the 5 as well. And uh, it's becoming six. awkward. I'm always awkward. You know this to be true. That's why I keep poking you about it. <laughs> this looks good. I think there's a decent chance. I think there's a very decent chance! Yes! Whoa. Oh yes! So I know the other turret is still antenna? standing. Oh, <laughs> I did see a secondary explosion though. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But I did take out one turret then. Ah, oh, so good. My spectator cam just got assaulted by uh, the laser antenna that flew off of that <laughs> structure. <laughs> 
You should put an LCD with a smiley face on these bombs. Yeah. Thank you, Yosh. Thank you for the 500 bits as well. Oh, man. I am so, so pleased with how well this thing has worked. I really... I did not expect it to be this effective. Can you imagine if we'd been doing this with full, large hydrogen tanks? I don't want to. If we could side it in with something cheaper, you could totally do that. I don't think we need it, though, because this is devastating. And Thank, that you to is seven. <laughs> Thank you for the five gift subs as well. What does it out mean of control. when you get to tier six of a hype? What? I don't. I don't know what these hype trains uh, really. Gets more emotes. Yeah, for participants think... apparently. And a special yeah, badge. So I really should make some um, emote, like animated ones and stuff, at some point. If I eventually find the time. At least a spinning capac would be a good one. Yeah, show off capac. All right, <laughs> three, two, one, launching. I love how you're jealous of a spinning watermelon. I'd not say jealous, but you know, just well, it, you you sounded it a little. Okay. This is like shot seven? Yeah, I think so. Ah! <laughs> Firebird, thank you for the 100 bits as well. And thank you, another anonymous, maybe the same anonymous gift up for another five gift subs. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! The hit is good! It's not the hit that I wanted, but it's a good hit! That was still on target. I knocked this thing over, I reckon the it'll be gone. Yeah, so either we need the leg or the turret. Yep. Or we're going to run out of materials. If we run out of materials, well, I'm still chuffed with how we've gone. Does it still have power? I have no idea. Uh, I think we've got the mod in that makes all static grids go mobile when they're no longer supported. Uh, the one that Nev made. Thank you, Papa Tim. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hopefully we're not blowing up any story critical pads or something. Um, the story is what we make it. Well, hang on. Aren't they neutral until you... They are currently neutral, yes. Yes, because you're technically not damaging them directly. Technically. Uh... Alright, 3, 2, 1. I mean, logic. in terms of Reputation neutral, but they are quite aggressive. I like their personal space. Yeah. They're like the old man yelling you, or yelling at you to get off their lawn. And we're like the young kids doing donuts on it with our... Motorbikes? Dirt bikes? Yeah. I think dirt bikes would be... Uh... goes. How accurate is this going to be? Ooh. Pretty dang accurate. <laughs> that is goodbye turret. I think we are going to need to do some trash cleanup once we uh, conquer this space. <laughs> yeah, probably. I am very, very satisfied with this. I can't believe we did the shadow. I'm so glad we did though. You! You did this. No, you helped. I was just here for emotional support. <laughs> and you ensured that we had enough ice and fuel and stuff. And you gave us an actual cockpit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we're gonna lob stuff, we gotta do it in style. Mm. Well, I think this might be our last launch for today. Before I finally let TFA and Shadow, jo uh, TFA and Capac join me in some enshrouded. So let's see what it does for the last launch. Should I put a chair on it? Go on. Should we put yeah, two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we should do it. Yep. <laughs> Just keep in mind that we do have ships here, so. Um, yeah, so we're yep. going to have to ship ourselves over here. Also, it might be smart to actually keep a welder. <laughs> Yes. I think we just made the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, do you have a basic welder, or do you only have a good welder? I only have a good welder right now. Well, if you just let me weld them up then. Okay. This is going to spin a lot. <laughs> oh. Turns out, I don't really need the welder. Right, I should probably put stuff away though. I just need one more interior plate. Oh, it doesn't spin that much, I guess. Uh, it's a one axis spin, it should be fine. Well, so I was thinking of uh, possibly trying to get my spectator cam in, but we'll see. Uh, hinges. Wait. Let me just make sure everything's set so all I have to do is do the hinges. Uh, just the seats may throw off the distance, yeah. yeah Hopefully not too much, but they may. Alright, we are unlocked. We are loaded. And ready for blammo. Also, keep in mind, they are going to get very mad at us. <laughs> oh. Even better. Yeah, that's fair enough. You ready, Shadow? It is the sin right. Yeah, no, we have plenty of up. Yep, I'm ready. Three, two, one, launch. Whoa. <laughs> Think this Leave is better. Now. Um, uh, I'm gonna go. To I'm just gonna look at the merch block. <laughs> I'm gonna get spectator cam, and that's yeah, that, that's not nice. That spin is actually worse than it would be without the spin. Uh, worse than it would be if it was spinning faster, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at the uh, merge block. Let me know when we're about to crash. <laughs> uh, we are about to crash. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I am. <laughs> Almost. Uh. Cool. Well, uh, as I said, I'm going to wrap up the space engineering here, and we're going to go play some Enshrouded. Uh, as I know, Shadow's not quite uh, ready for Enshrouded yet. What are no, your plans I for the rest of your week? Um, I shall be back on Friday with some Pal World. Because what else should I do? Uh, I'm addicted to Pal World. Mm -hmm. Much um, like Capac. I'm restraining myself. I'm only playing once a week. Okay. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Trust me, I tried. But yeah, I shall be back on Saturday with a Never Surrender scenario where we're doing everything but Never Surrender. Yep, so you're just playing Vanilla Space Engineers, got it. Basically. <laughs> and back on Sunday with this? Cool. Oh, did we run out of hydrogen? It's possible. That's alright, we can fix that next time. Uh, so yeah, hang around. We'll swip, uh, swip, swip, switch. Swip. We will switch. Swip. No, swip, we will. Swatch. We will swip. swatch and swip over to some enshrouded. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but we will be back with more RVs next week. Uh, this is all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you in just a moment. <laughs>